Hello, everybody. This is our first live reaction episode to the Oscar 2022 awards reaction. Um, they just announced a bunch of winners and they are announcing the best supporting actress. We will announce that soon. My name is Philip and this is Ron. Hey, what's up, everybody? Yeah. This is going to be our first time doing this, so there's going to be some, you know, some wrinkles along the way. <laughs> yeah. And they did announce a bunch of winners uh, because of the Oscars really foolish decision to announce awards pre-recorded. That's just so lame. Yeah. Honestly. And then what's it called? And after they announce this winner, we will talk about those uh, winners, which is best score and stuff like that. Yes, we will. We'll do that. My my prediction for this is Ariana DeVos. I'll be very surprised if she didn't win. Yeah, I, my uh, I mean the dark horse. I think most people think is Kristen Dunst. So um, honestly, I'm I'm pulling for her. I'm really pulling for her. All right. So for the first round, of uh, real quick, just the the technicals for best sound, we, we got Dune, Dune, which is our pick. Yes. Best short documentary. The Queen, the Queen of, of Basketball, which also we got right. We got that one. Live action short film. The Long Goodbye. Long Goodbye. Which we won. All right, now. The, okay. Best Actress. Best Ariana hey, oh, Ariana yeah, DeBose nice. for Best Supporting Actress. Nice. She's blowing up. Yeah. She's going to be the co-lead in um, Craven the Hunter. So congratulations, Ariana. Good for her. I'm looking forward to her future. <laughs> <laughs> I think she did. She did a pretty good job in uh, in West Side Story. Yeah, I'll say. Yeah, yeah. I mean, as a long time have a clue listeners, you guys know his <laughs> uh, his views and thoughts. Yeah. Dreams do come true, and that's really a heartening thing right now. Um, if I took the time to say thank you to every single beautiful person who has lifted me up on this stage, you'd find people would be sitting here until next Oscar. So I'm not going to do that, but just allow me to say that it was the summer of a lifetime, and I am the most privileged and grateful to have spent it with all of you. Um, my God, thank you, Steven Spielberg. You're stuck with me now. Yay! Uh -huh. How sweet. Um, How sweet, uh, yeah. Some of my tribe friends, my family, my love, Sue, Jonathan, Diana, Anthony, Catalina. Um, I couldn't do what I do without each and every one of you. <clears throat> so, lastly, imagine this little girl in the back seat of a white Ford Focus. Look into her eyes. You see a queer, openly queer woman of color, an Afro Latina, who found her strength in life through art. And that's what I believe we're here to celebrate. your identity ever 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 or find your you find yourself living in the gray spaces i promise you this there is indeed a place for us thank you to the academy that was that was a great speech not too self-indulgent it was a straight to the point it was just like a long thank you yeah yeah it's very sweet sometimes they do go on yeah. is it just me or does this like stage seem differently or are they they're doing it in a different location of yeah it's not like the last smaller. year yeah yeah oh yeah yeah no, no oh yeah i mean last year was a weird anomaly but this year it feels like a much smaller stage it does like usually it's like a huge awesome <laughs> yeah I, I somebody double checked that for us oh okay and also like i don't know when was the last time where like uh two act two actor actresses won the oscar for the same role a different time because Rita oh, yeah. also won for uh, anita uh i think when 
Heath Ledger one for the Joker. No, but no, no, Joaquin Phoenix one. Yeah, but <laughs> what's it called? Yeah. Oh, no, but for the same role, though, right? And also for yeah, the yeah. same category, too. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah. All right, so this is a commercial break. So what's it called? We are going to talk. We are going to talk about the categories we missed. So last last we got off with live action short film. Long goodbye, we got right. Yeah. The eyes of Tammy Faye for best makeup and hairstyling. We got it right. So that's good. Boom. Congratulations to Linda Dows, Justin Rowley, and Stephanie Ingram. Best original score. Dune, Hans Zimmer. Oh, ah, yeah, yeah. I, I ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that they just like glossed over these. That's like really ridiculous. Yeah. Some of them they pre recorded. And it's also some of them we, we were kind of late to the party. But yeah. then, yeah, a lot like editing was uh, pre recorded. Which is crazy because okay. that's like the backbone of film. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. It, it's seriously, it's like sound, editing, and then like cinematography. <laughs> yeah. And obviously acting, but like, come on. Like, that's literally what makes film what it is. Editing can exist in no other medium except for, you know, in film. film. You know, it's just like, and TikTok. TikTok. And, <laughs> <laughs> well, and video games too, I guess. But it's just really, really fucking annoying that they did that. I mean, it's really, I mean, really annoying. I'm sorry. I'm trying to. Curse less. I gotta. I gotta. I gotta <laughs> do better. I uh, was. Oh, okay. Best anime short film. Oh, wait, sorry, sorry. Who 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 won, who got editing? Uh, oh no no. We'll, we'll, well, that's that's the category after. Okay this okay. One. Gotcha gotcha. Best anime short film was The Windshield Wiper. We both got this wrong. We thought it was gonna be Robin Robin. Yeah. Even our second choice was like a fair like even like I don't know affairs the are Bastia or something like that. I think Windshield Wiper was our second choice, right? Yeah, that was that was one of my top ones for sure. Of, yeah, if, if that wasn't my personal favorite choice, uh, which I really liked, if it wasn't for like you know. The, at the like the voiceover and stuff about what his love is. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I don't think the short films are telecasted, so I'm really sad about that. But they're gonna apparently show the recordings like in between speeches or something, which okay. is weird. It's, it's like <laughs> one of the worst Oscars, like in terms of like how they're respecting and honoring film categories. You yeah. guys, the Oscars aren't mainstream anymore. It's okay. You're appealing to a certain group of people, and now there's a Moon Knight commercial we're watching, which is dope. <laughs> yeah, cool. I'm excited for Moon Knight. What's it called? Um, okay, so the next category for who won best film editing: Joe Walker for Dune. Dune. Yes, yes, yes. I said Tick Tick Boom, but that's okay. Philip said Dune. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you, you're wrong. <laughs> I, was, I was wrong. I was wrong. That's good. Okay. I'm glad though. I'm glad this was hard though because no, nobody really like it. It, it could have been anybody. It could have even been King Richard. Yeah. And best production design. I think we both did uh, Dune, right? Yes. Yeah. I so far, we, we only agree. got the best anime short wrong. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I got editing wrong, but that's just me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I got two wrong. Yeah. So best uh, production design, Dune. Congratulations to Patrice Vermette and Zussi's uh, Sipos. For the future ones, we will also mention the names. We're just speed running this right now before the next commercial. Yeah. Yeah. We're just trying to power along this. We only have three hours. Yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> How the hell do they cut down on all of these? Like, uh, and like, it's still three hours. Sorry? Yeah. And it's still three hours. I know. Maybe they're actually cutting. Cut, who, who knows? It might be less than three hours this, this time. We'll see. We'll see. But I the mean, thing is, that's not the problem with the Oscars. It's not like because of, um, it's not because of the length. the length. I mean, the length is one thing. It's relevancy and like, you know, I don't know, just pure entertainment factor. And also because most people, they just look at a list now for winners. Yeah. 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 It's just like, it's like for people with like short, the way we consume media is a lot quicker. Yeah. Right? I think it was before like people would just be like, you know, uh, like if, if you didn't watch the Oscars, the only way you knew who won was like, I don't know, maybe you would see it on the news or you would hear someone would tell you. <laughs> Now it's just like, here, let me look it up. And you can watch it, the results as they qu- come in right now. Yeah. Know? Oh, wait, wait. What category is this? Or are they just talking about Belfast? Uh, I think this they're just uh, highlighting the, best the different Best Picture nominations. So yeah. this one would be Bel- for Belfast. You know, Belfast, some part of it has grown on me. You know what I mean? Just yeah. like the look of it. And then just like... From, from the first time we saw it, I thought it was a gorgeous looking film. I really did like it. Uh, like just I, I don't know I love like all the, the landscape shots how much they focused on the actual city of Belfast yeah and actually, it's really cool the production design and like the whole troubles incident was fantastic yeah 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 just not amazing The host this year. I mean, Regina Hall makes sense. She's yeah. actually a film actress. Yeah, and she's funny. Wait, what the? He's not wearing a shirt? No, he's not <laughs> wearing a shirt. Of course. Jesus, man. Happy Empire Day. Oh, you're still with Penelope. You know what? Actually, 
Oh, look at stylish, Simu. No, no, no. Your, your, your test is fine. It, it says that you're married. I'm negative, negative. Oh, my God. Your test is fine. It says that you're married. I'm negative, negative. Real quick. Um, you're married, but you know what? You're on the list. It looks like Jada approved you, so you get on up here. Get on up here. Ha ha. Ha ha. Entanglement. Ha ha. Ha ha. I think they Whatever. cut to her. They cut to Jake Gyllenhaal and he's like, hey, this is okay to laugh. I don't know. <laughs> so we can have this, but we can't see film editing. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I'm dying on the inside. Why does Benzel, you, Denzel look like he has like buck teeth? <laughs> Just the way that he was smiling there. <laughs> like Bugs Bunny for a second. Are you kidding me? You cannot, you have a long send this segment about Regina Hall thirsting over male celebrities. <laughs> but you can't fucking, you can't show film editing or the short film categories or like production design. Are you kidding me? Or score. Or maybe score was telecast. We missed it. Oh, snap. I think someone crushed. Uh, someone cursed. I think she cursed. This is the best Oscars, yeah. <laughs> we have Thanos slash Cable. And Aquaman getting patted down by... Yeah, just getting... For, for a bit. Felt up. I keep on forgetting... How not tall Josh Brolin is, how super tall Jason Momoa is. Yeah. <laughs> this is just highlights it. For real. Have you ever been nominated? No. <laughs> oh, sorry. Like even this category, sound? Oh yeah. So like what? Burping? <laughs> really? Good luck to you, man. Thanks, bro. I think you picked the wrong category, bro. These people are geniuses. They are the nominees for achievement in sound. Wait, but they just announced. Oh, is this pre recorded then, I think, right? Oh, so this is. Okay. <laughs> well, we'll see what happens. And as... yeah, I'm assuming they're just going to cut it or <laughs> something like that. Now, it seems like they're just airing the full thing then. I bet you they're just going to cut the. Oh, never mind. No, it definitely still seems truncated. Yeah, they're they're speeding through. The power of the Doge. Hey, Andy Nelson and Sean Murphy. And the Oscar goes to. Dude. Yeah, yeah. See, they just like, yeah. They yeah, they totally it. truncated it. They didn't even have them announce it. <laughs> Thank you, Denis Villeneuve, to our amazing director who was like the spice. You, sir, were the spice flowing through our brains, turning our humble ideas into your imaginary world. Thank you so much. Thank you to Hans Zimmer. Thank you to Joe Walker, who treated us as fellow artists. This is for you. Thank you. Thank you for everyone from Legendary and Warner Brothers and to all our family and friends. Thank you so much for your love and support. And of course, thank you, Denis. Merci de fond de cœur. Oh, that, oh wait, I think Doom won four awards so far. Uh, yeah, I'm not here to cry about it. I'm here on this. 30 seconds. You said 30 seconds. I'm almost a call. Sorry. Who's this? Sydney Dean. So? Celebrating the 30th anniversary of White Man Can't Jump. Please welcome. 
Huh. Okay. Okay. Uh, cool. Out of all the films, High Life, Brandon versus the series. This is like the smallest I've ever seen Wesley Snipes look. He looks yeah, a little tiny. I don't know. I mean, he's older, you know. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Thank you, thank you so much. I, it's just hard to believe that it's been thirty years since white men can jump. Uh, you mean uh, thirty years since I proved they could? <laughs> Uh, I don't know about that. You still look like a slow, geeky chunk to me. Why, wow, he looks small. Uh, back, uh, back, I think he's wearing a kilt life. as well. I'm, I'm in the zone. Uh, you mean like zoned out, like like really high, like really like zoomed it, like up there. I mean, that, that is true. I, uh, I wish I hadn't done that bong rip in the car. <laughs> uh, I wish I didn't roll with you. Okay, well, it looks like... I'm the only sober one up here, and some things haven't changed in 30 years. Oh, my, that's cringe so, as AF. Oh, my gosh. Oh, what is happening right now? What are they doing to the Oscars? It's been like this for a while. I know, but this is like, this is like, I think new level. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Greg Fraser. Greg Fraser. I think this one's live. This is live. Yeah. I'm curious who's going to win. I still want to see this in black and white. Nightmare Alley. Definitely. Honestly, I wouldn't be sad if he won. I think he did a great job. But this is my personal for me. Bruno Double Now. It's fantastic. Really. This one or Dune. Or, you know, honestly, he did shoot. Really. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Mamba. And the Oscar goes to... Uh, nominated three times. This is the most words I ever spoke here. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. That, that was, was funny. off the cuff, clearly. Yeah. Is where it's at. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I bet you guys are wanting to hear one. Okay, uh, Dune, Greg Fraser. Hey! Ooh. Who do we choose? We chose Dune, right? Yeah, we chose Dune. Yeah, we chose Dune. Yeah. Oh my. We. Yeah. Hey, We're going pretty strong now. I guess it's pretty predictable Oscars. I mean, if so far. It, so uh, so far. Yeah. The only one was Robin Robin losing to the windshield wiper. He's really not wearing a shirt. Wow. What Timothy Chalamet? Good for him. Yeah. Yeah. Good for your female crowd. It's a little douchey, I think. It is. It <laughs> is. <laughs> I'm just gonna say it. I mean, I, I respect him as an actor yeah. and as an artist. I think he's great. But that, eh. Hey, look, uh, Greg Frazier, good for you. Awards up early so I can get out and get to the bar, but I will keep it short for that reason. Um, Denis Villeneuve, so master, master Denis. Um, you know, he's brought a, a whole group of unknown actors together um, to make an amazing movie, along with our lovely producers. Thank you. Um, collaborators, I'm nothing without this with my, my, my friends, Patrice and Paul, Donald and Jackie and I mean, God, amazing. Um, uh, my crew, I'm not gonna name them all because it will take too long, but I will call you all straight after this. Um, and speaking of calling, mum, I will return your call and I apologize. Um, Lauren, all the friends and family celebrating around the world um, in Melbourne and uh, m most importantly, my wife, Jodie, um, my children, Felix, Leo and Poppy, you know, allowing a middle-aged man to go out and play with his friends in the sand dunes for six months is pretty amazing. So. Thank you. I'll be home in time for dinner. Nice. Greg Frazier. Nice. Good for you. I, 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 this is, that was sweet. Yeah, that was a, a solid, you know, uh, like sweet, sentimental, yeah, kind of a sec acceptance speech. That's what you want to hear. And, and I said it. I'm not, I'm not mad at the choice. Yeah. No, absolutely not. I, I think it was a Dune had like really good shot at it. Oh, that's, that's five awards Dune so far. Is that five? Yeah. They yeah. got production design, editing, right? score, and sound. It's sound and cinematography. Cinematography. Damn. Wow. Yeah, good for them. And they still probably, it's funny, and they win all this not, not get best picture. <laughs> it's not simply a timekeeper either. It certainly holds our fondest memories, but also our deepest questions about who we are and who we aspire to be. It's not merely. God, I'm like, I'm, re I'm. This really is taking me off. That 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 it's not. That is not. Uh, they're not airing it live. 
it feels kind of disrespectful for these categories. Yeah, it, it disrespectful and a little toothless, to be honest. Yeah, like it, it, like it, it kind of like it, sorry, live television is exciting in its own way for for many reasons. You never know what anything could happen. What happened last year with the Oscar? Not last year, but what uh, a couple of years ago with like La La Land and Moonlight. Yeah. That's probably the most exciting thing that's happened to the Oscars. I don't know how long, and that's kind of the result of a live event. You know? Yeah. Like if they had edited, it, they could have easily have just kind of cut around that or something. And that like, would have been oh, lame. Whoops. And but, this and this was like, it's just yeah. I don't know. It is like I would prefer everything to be live. Do you do you really need an extended five minute white man can't jump like skit? Do you really need a long skit of Regina Hall patting down all the attractive men in Hollywood? <laughs> like, you are if you're Regina Hall, I think. Yeah, I'm trying to think. <laughs> My favorite bit is still from Seth MacFarlane, like all his weird stuff. <laughs> I think he did a solid job. Yeah. You know, I, I just think Amy Schumer's a interesting choice. Because she's barely in films recently. Yeah, she's not really She was relevant. in Humans last time, and that's it. And Trainwreck is what most people know her for. Yeah, and that's kind of apt for her career. <laughs> because, like, she's really been taken down for, like, you know... Joke All of her herself. controversies, yeah, joke stealing, and that's a pretty big no-no. It seems like she's been blacklisted by most of the comedy community. But I guess not. I guess not, dude. Hats off to her manager. Yeah. Oh, I guess she has a new show, too, now. I guess it's been doing well. Life After Beth or something like that. I forgot. If it's that. I don't know. Good for her, I guess. No, oh, Jessica Biel. Who's also been in a lot more dramatic roles lately. But that and, like, The Sinner. We're just, now we're just talking about the... The ads, ads for candy. I've not seen this. It looks cool. Yeah. Not gonna lie, when it's a Hulu original show, I kind of like take pause. Candy can be perfect all the time. I, I mean, I'm interested to see Jessica Biel. I've always wanted her to do well. Like I used to watch Seven Heaven back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> so like, is that is that Jacob Elordi? Oh, that is Jacob Elordi hey. with Rachel Ziegler. Wow, he's tall. Yeah, he is still enormous, and she's still tiny. So that's kind of yeah. hilarious. They just have a real thing of like oh, they're yeah. just like we're gonna pair up our our shortest actors and actresses together. <laughs> yeah, do you know that she's um she she almost couldn't come come why? Because they didn't invite her. What? Yeah, they didn't invite her, and the controversy happened, and they were like, "How can you not invite the the basic lead to your film?" Yeah, especially when they have nominations. Exactly, they have multiple nominations to this, and you're not gonna invite the lead. Did yes. they invite the dude? I forget his name. What was his Ansel name? Elgar. I think they did, but I, what's it called? So he's. So, That's so much worse than. Well, we'll, we'll see. I, I I haven't seen him in the crowd yet. So if, if they did, that'd be worse. But but eventually they made her a presenter after the controversy happened. Good, good. She deserves it. She almost was nominated too. She was a contender. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So far. and the fact that they get, they snubbed her twice, like it's kind of a slap to the face. Yeah. Okay. I wonder how much the commercials actually cost for <laughs> like, it's, you know what the, uh, it's like I, I, I've been really like trying to think of the parallels between the Oscars and the, and the Super Bowl. Bowl you know yeah it's like the Super Bowl it just seems to get like you know to become a bigger and bigger thing every year like it's just crazier and crazier in terms of like what they're trying to pull off and like how much numbers they get and everything and the Oscars is the, the complete exact opposite. opposite it's just dying losing relevancy <laughs> no it's one like, cares anymore and yeah, I don't know. it's like imagine if they like recorded the uh, the, the Super Bowl before, <laughs> and, like know, just show you later. <laughs> yeah, so this is, this is once again another pre-recorded stuff. Audible okay. was in, interesting. Leave me home is my personal favorite. Very good the documentary shorts. See, and there's no tension because we already know the winner. Yeah, we know the winner. Alex, it, look, but it says live in the corner. Yeah, no, it's a lie. See, look at that. They don't even show the walking up or anything or announcing. I felt like he said more. I felt like he said more. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. Here tonight, so I ask you to 
One last thing, President Biden, bring Brittany Grinder home. Thank you. Long live the Queen. Thank you. Thank God. Well, oh, then again, I, I think I was short. But also, I don't know if like it was actually sh short. They edited it out. Who knows? Working with an app. No college. I can't afford school. You have no idea what it's like to hear people laugh at your family. Just ripping you off. I don't know. I was super high on this film, but like somehow my love for it has kind of tempered for, the rest of my life. for Coda. They're showing Coda, by yeah. the way. Yeah, they're showing stuff for Coda, which is the favorite to win. Or maybe Power the Dog. There's a two horse it's race. It's really, yeah, it's between that and Power the Dog. I will say, you know what? Completely unrelated. I really like the stage design this year. It looks cool. It's like this it's, weird spiral looking thing with like red. and Yeah, wow. it's cool. It's very cool. That is weird to look at. Super tall, yeah, it's super it's not so tall. Growing up in Australia, I never thought that I would stay on this stage. And I never thought that I would be here six days ago. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Super charming in real life. <laughs> He's not. He's a little milk toast, but I understand. Maybe I nerves, know, he, you know? in real life, he's super shy. Wow. Oh, best visual effects? Come on, we know it's Dune. Just, this, is, this is the one, out of all Dune. the pre-recorded, that's like the easiest one to guess. Dude, no time to die. I got to send you this uh, VFX reel. Yeah. Like, insane the amount of visual effects. Like, they're super subtle. Like, I never noticed. Yeah, yeah. And also Shang Chi, there's a, a corridor crew with a visual effects support um, guy. They talked about all the water effects. And it's kind of revolutionary. They use a little bit of interesting. Yeah. yeah, they were talking about before here about the the sand effects they created for for Spider Man No Way Home too, right? Yeah. No, not for No or Way no, Home. Not no Home. Uh, uh, for Dune. For Dune. 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 She said laughing like ha. It was expected. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's like yeah. I'm uh, getting like more and more like yeah. Good for you, Rachel Ziegler. Yeah, good for her. Charm, charm the world. Yeah, seriously, this is her time, chance to shine. You know that other, the Euphoria guy. He's fine. He's, yeah, he's fine. fine. He's, he's really talented. He's gonna actor. be in a yeah, yeah. yeah. He's a handsome, tall, muscular dude who's super who's, talented. Yeah, who's very talented and a great actor on an extremely popular show. He's gonna be fine. Yeah. Rachel Ziegler. I mean, again, obviously, she's probably gonna be fine yeah, too. She's Snow White. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's gonna be. She's Snow White. She was in. If Dune didn't win Best Visual Effects, that would have been the biggest upset of the night. That would have been pretty big. Well, I mean, who who else that could have won? Dude, even yeah, no, no, I don't think there's no no close second. Oh, huh. Thank you to the members of the academy for this amazing award. None of this would have been possible without the truly inspiration of Denis Villeneuve. Thank you to my producer Bryce Parker, Jason Garber, all the producers, Mary, Kale, Herb, Joe, and Josh. Oh, that's six. Pong, Number six. And all the other heads of departments, and of course the amazing cast and crew on the show. VFX is a team effort of hundreds of people around the world. So huge congratulations to all the artists and production from DNEG, Wiley Co, and Radio FX, to my amazing, wonderful, beautiful partner, Mags, and my incredible boys, Boston and Jackson, up there in the rafters right now. I love you all. Man, poor Denis. So many wins that he didn't get nominated. My wife, uh, Kirsty, our two girls, Isabella and Eloisa, for all their support. Uh, and of course, uh, the outstanding work from all the artists uh, at DNEG um, for putting us here tonight. Thank you. Dude, what if Dune wins? What if Dune wins? Dude. Come oh, on! They come just cut on, him off, dude. No. 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 Come on. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, wow. 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 Oh, that just takes me Wait, off. Who's that in the front row and like in the red dress? Who is that? I can't see it. Who are you? But she was egging him on like, come on, come on, finish your speech. Because the third guy for the visual effects was about to like uh, talk. And then like they played the music, of course, and completely cut him off. Is that Tony Hawk and yeah. Sean White? What the hell? Who's the middle guy again? I have no idea. The classic James Bond films. James Bond is the most iconic and legendary secret agent in cinema history. Of course, over the years, we've all had our favorite Bond. Some people are Sean Connery fans, others, Roger Moore, or Timothy Dalton, Pierce Brosnan, or Daniel Craig. As great as they all are, it's impossible to ever be certain that just one star was clearly the GOAT. Well, I don't know about that. There are a few athletes who you clearly know are the greatest in their field. 
I'm talking about you two, of course. At least, he, at least he used to be. <laughs> Think Sean White's ever going to shave that mustache? No. Okay, okay. Well, okay. while we tried our best to be game changers in our respective sports, there's no question James Bond was a game changer, influencing our culture and the look and standards of films for over half a century. And what we love best, he was and is never afraid to take things to the extreme. Now let's take a look at 60 years of Bond. That's cool. That's nice. That's sweet. See, that's understandable. It is understandable because, I mean, what No Time to Die represents in terms of Bond. Spoiler alert. It was his time. Yeah. Did they, did they see George Lazenby? I don't think they did. Did you expect me to talk? No, Mr. Bond, I expect you to die. No, I didn't hear him say that. You live in. It's it's funny that they chose this song. <laughs> yeah, of all the, I mean, it's a good one, but it's, it's, like, it's not the best die. for for me personally. Who's the classic Bond lady? I forget her name. Uh, which one? Uh, the one who like did like Goldfinger and like uh, 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 oh, called the Diamonds I, one forever. Uh, I, Sierra Leone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is she's the one who was it Gold Pussy? No, no not Gold. Like, <laughs> gold Pussy. Not Gold Pussy. Pussy Galore. Pussy Galore. Did, pussy play, did she play Pussy Galore? I, I, I think it's someone else. Remember. Oh, I, I can't remember. Shirley Bassey, of course. Oh. Of course. Wait, are you talking about the... Oh, she's the songs. Yes, yes. Oh, the, the songs. Are you talking about yeah. like... No, no, no. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, dude, I feel like, again, she, they because a, John, a, a James Bond movie has come out like f fucking like every other year for the past 60 years <laughs> that it's like, I, I feel like every Oscars, there's always some thing to well, bond. There's been a big gap between No Time to Die and the last one. That's true. But yeah, actually, I, the I Daniel know. Craig ones are the ones with the biggest gaps. Yeah. But yeah. I, I just feel like there's always something. I hope they take a long break from this one. Yeah. The crew is the backbone of the film community. Oh, really? Wow, it's pre it's pre recorded. <laughs> well, they're they're talking about. Uh, I dropped the audio for the ads. But they're, they're, they're talking about the behind the scenes people. Yeah. Yeah. But, <laughs> they have an ad for how important they are, but they pre-record them. Yeah, they're like, they are behind the scenes. <laughs> Stay in your lane. <laughs> Maybe it's another refill at your favorite diner. Or All right. For the Dude, I, you know what? Not going to lie. I would just love for chaos. I would love if doing one. Not going to lie, because it'd just be yeah. fun to see people go crazy. Dude, that'd be awesome. Yeah. Yeah, just mix it up, you know? Give it to... West Side Story, I don't know. Power, you know what? I, I'm kind of like made peace with Power Dog not okay, not winning. I mean, I prefer to win, but because like it's look, it's like that's a film I feel like as time goes on, people will go back to it and stuff like that. Same for like There Will Be Blood. It didn't win. It did fine. Which film do you think would be the biggest upset if it won? The biggest upset? Yeah. Oh, the biggest upset would be, I think like just in terms like no one's really not not that like you personally don't think it's good because i think that's oh i think he's there but like the one that you think that like if it were to win no one saw that coming drive my car or um or nightmare alley because nightmare alley wasn't even supposed to be there oh that's true yeah 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 drive my car was yeah that was another surprise those two those like, two are big surprises yeah drive my, <laughs> imagine drive my car winning that'd be I awesome would, honestly that would be really awesome that'd be crazy oh gosh, but yeah. like yeah no one would see that coming oh, but in a way i feel like it's gonna feel like more hate towards it like, yeah. Yeah, yeah oh people, people were like hate ah. it. it's you know? exactly what happened to parasite where it, it did it shined a spotlight on it which is what like you know you really hope for the oscars ultimately what you want is for people to, you know, put their eye on like, you know, work that people have, you know, put a lot of effort into and made like a great movie and stuff like, you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be the best movie because it usually never is. But 
the like sometimes it can have that exact blowback effect like parasite where yeah. i think a lot of people did love it obviously when it came out it was huge but then also got tons of pushback because everyone was like oh well, it's not that great I don't know. You guys are wrong. It is. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. It's not like uh, like Green Book or Driving Miss Daisy or anything like that. Yeah, yeah. Amy look, Schumer you know, is in Only Murders in the Building season two. Uh, apparently. What the heck? For a second, I was questioning. I was like, man, there's so many Hulu ads. It's like, oh yeah, this is ABC, which is Disney, which is now Hulu. So. <laughs> it's a live reaction. If you guys like this, um, we'll continue it next time. If not, we'll just do record our, you know, what's it called. Our analysis of the winners afterwards. Yeah, we're going to pause during halftime. Uh, I'm just kidding. I don't think that's a thing. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be food breaks and water breaks. This is a weird thing for us. We've never tried this live stream thing before. Yeah, we're, live and we're technically live not even live streaming, but we are recording our reactions live, and then we're going to just upload it as pretty much as, like, as raw as possible, honestly. Yeah. For better or worse. <laughs> oh. Yeah. You know, some people do like the watch along things, right? Like it's just like, like a, it's like, oh, you just start watching it and then you just watch along. Yeah. Like, yeah. I guess ours is kind of like it's that. It's kind of like that. Yeah. The only difference is it's not live. So. No, no, it's not. <laughs> yeah. Maybe next year we'll actually do it live. We'll see. Who we'll knows? Watch. Most people will not, you know, what's it called? <laughs> watch the Oscars. Most people are not even watching this. I mean, it still gets a good amount of viewers, like 9 million or 8 million or whatever. Yeah. But. Yeah, I, <laughs> I like how it's like nine, eight million. Like, like that's something to sneeze at. It's like, no. All right, we're back. We're there back. <laughs> oh, Best picture oh, nominee. Don't look, don't look up. What a travesty that it's got nominated. Gross. And, and thank God they didn't win Best Editing. I would have thrown a fit. Seriously. Look, you know, a smart <laughs> investment on Netflix. They know how to get people interested in publicity for their company. Yeah. Damn, I, re I really, really like this uh, the stage. Stage. Yeah, really cool. Hey. Oh. The voice actor for uh, Encanto. <laughs> Maribel. And then discover that even in the most troubling times, there's still hope and unexpected miracles. Here to perform Dos Oruguitas, please welcome Sebastian Yatra. Nice. And don't don't talk about Bruno is also being performed, right, or something? Is it really? Yeah. Feels like cheating. Even though it's not nominated. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. He's got butterflies on his legs uh -huh. and pants. I mean, and shirt. Origuitas? Did I say that? Origuitas, yeah. Origuitas, okay. <laughs> Caterpillars. Oh, wow, that's... I gotta admit, this dude uh, that's dancing on the stage right now that looks like the Livorio mascot, I never thought I'd see that on the yeah. <laughs> on the Oscar stage or, or associated with <laughs> the, the Oscars. I that's I don't know, it's kind of crazy to me. Good. That that's really cool, but <laughs> it makes me a lot of sign better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, why 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 is he going off? Why is he going off? <laughs> You're the best part. Yes, you're back. 
I am interested now. Yeah, go Livorio, man. Yeah. <laughs> if anyone that's listening knows what Livorio is, please, like, comment or something. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, laughing at something completely unrelated. I just saw a meme <laughs> that was like, uh, it's like the, uh, the meme from like The Simpsons when like the guy is like trying to figure out what people want for like the, the cartoons. And then he's like, so you want an upbeat and funny award show that's sober and serious about world affairs? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, Who is this? Oh, Lily James. Oh, good for her. Oh, wow. She's a little taller than I expected. Yeah, she looks really tall. Oh, the girl's going to play Little Mermaid in the middle. Ah. I did not know she was British. The girl played the girl in purple. I forget her name. The one who played, uh, Naomi Sky. Yeah. She's a great actress. I like her. She's a... Yeah. Parents, dude, I used to watch Lion King like on repeat. Canto. Flea. Yeah, it's a kid. It's a movie that kids can watch again and again and again. <laughs> So for this category, I picked Mitchell's in the Machines. And I, I want Mitchell's to win. I chose Encanto. Uh, and Philip chose Encanto. So we'll see. And the Oscar goes to Encanto. Oh. oh. Yeah, this is a very predictable Oscars then. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I took a shot. I was like, you know what? Maybe Disney won't win this year. I I, I hope they wouldn't, but whatever. I mean, it's, yeah. Encanto's good. Yeah, it's fine. It's good. It's good. Honestly, I I enjoyed Encanto, but like, man, I do not think it won. <laughs> Out of this category, like, I don't know. I'd rather give it to Mitchell's or like, or Flea, of course, or even Raya. Encanto had great music and great animation, of course, too, but I don't know. I saw myself in Abuelita. And everyone at the Walt Disney Animation Studios, this film only exists because of your talent and your passion. Jennifer Lee and Alan Bergman for championing this film from the very beginning. And we have to thank the entire country of Colombia, yes. our amazing cast. This is a movie about family, and we would not be here without our family. So I want to thank my wife, Pam, my kids, Merrick, Emmett, and Hewitt, my parents, Don and Adrian, uh, Shepard, my husband, my family, and both coast, my dad, I miss you. And my husband, Rafael, and Felix and Noemi. Bye. That was sweet. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, it's a very predictable Oscar. It's going. Ah, uh, oh my god. I would have. Yeah, I would have won Mitchell's or Flea. It's okay. Whatever. Top 
five most. <laughs> okay. So they're showing the Matrix. Neo's dodging bullets. His back is bending. Whoa, look at him go. <laughs> Dream girls. Uh, Effie White singing, I'm telling you. Best scene in the movie. <laughs> and of Dream Girls. Wait, really? I mean, I really like the scene, but okay. A shampoo. I'm not going to lie. It always bugged me that like that was literally the only time Captain America ever said it. I feel like I it know. just takes away a lot from it. Like there was always the joke like, eh, is he going to say it? Is he gonna just have him fucking say it. Otherwise, then it's not going to, you know. Wait, oh, wait, shit. Is, is this a top? Oh, this is dope. Yeah. Wow. Flash into Sweet Force. Wow. Okay, I didn't expect this. Yeah. Uh, what, oh. what kind of category is this? Is, is, it, fan, is it fan voted favorite scene? I don't, I don't know. But they're showing number one most like, what is it like? crowd cheering moment or whatever is the flash enters the speed force and he Not goes back lie. in time and it's, it's an incredible that, scene it's like probably one of the best scenes in the whole movie it's it's legit one of my favorite scenes it's something like i felt like i was never gonna see on screen when it comes to like superhero stuff like yeah. flash ripping through the speed force awesome uh I believe is Zack snyder again as yeah director, seriously full emotions yeah the and then i saw the post credit scene i was like oh never mind yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was a weird category. Okay. <laughs> that was really weird. So we could see that, but we can't see best film editing live. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm going to say this the entire podcast. Uh, okay. <laughs> what the heck is... Are you kidding me? Even film editing? Philip is an editor, if you can't tell. <laughs> <laughs> Not even just that, but like other like the shorts or or like the or like yeah. production design or makeup. Yeah. The point is they're shortchanged a lot of like what makes film film, you know? It's not cool. Okay, welcome back. So we decided to like pause it during the ads because realistically, we don't think any of you guys are going to be uh, caring or even us. <laughs> like, yeah, are you guys really going to be listening, like, you know, timing it up and syncing it? Who knows? Maybe we'll figure out something again, like we said in the future, where this is definitely we're ironing out all the kinks. So we're just this is really like a big test run again. If you guys like this, please let us know. Yeah. Maybe in the future we'll actually do a live stream. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah. Yeah. Thank yeah. you, hey, guys. This will, by the way, this will be a uh, heads up. This will be a uh, interesting week for us. There's a lot of stuff going on with us personally. Yeah. Yeah. So our episode release might not be as big as last week because, you know, we really hustled it. So, yeah. But going cool. forward, we will try to get back on schedule. Yeah. We're basically trying to, I mean, might as well say it. we're trying to move, you yeah, know, and find the place and make, make it more streamlined, our production the schedule yeah. and everything and not just podcasts we're and other things too but yeah there's a lot there's a yeah, lot we got a lot going on in our personal lives you know and like again like yeah just all about trying to and right now you're telling better. shut the fuck up we don't want to hear about your personal <laughs> life <laughs> oh yeah oh sorry i cussed again oh my i'm trying not to cuss i'm sorry yeah we're at my parents house right now <laughs> <laughs> my parents are not uh, a fan of cursing. now th now this is a part of the lore you yeah <laughs> <laughs> at the moment we're at my parents house so. <laughs> oh the animated short film oh, all sorry. right here animated short film Bestia, so creepy. Box ballot, yeah. uh, ballet. There's creepy no tension sweet. again because we know who won. Yeah, and the windshield wiper. Robin, Robin. Yeah, I really like the windshield wiper. It really was just it, narration. It's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, <laughs> hey, look just... at that! <laughs> uh. Wow, good job, box ballet. I'm just kidding. Uh. Alberto Miego, who did 90% of the work. I'm just kidding. He, I mean, he, uh, other people did work too. Seemingly did everything though. Yeah. Because this is just the beginning of what we can do with animation. Yeah. Ron Malik, who's never aged. Yeah. 
thank you to all the team that has been involved on this project to make it happen. Starting with Alberto and his vision, it's no. it's just amazing. If uh, thank you to the Academy for this award. It's just incredible. So thank you very much. Muchísimas gracias a todos. If you guys like the windshield wiper, check out the witness on um, Love, Death, and Robots on Netflix. Really fantastic. Yes, best your nominee, drive my car. Arguably one of my favorites of the best picture nominee. Yeah, really good. And here's Wanda Sykes. <laughs> what? So so much enthusiasm with that. <laughs> yeah, I, I, Wanda Sykes is. I don't know. I prefer her over Amy Schumer. Yeah. I prefer one host or two hosts or three hosts. Okay. <laughs> Well, I love how they highlight the people making the music, but they but the best sound is or all that stuff is pre-recorded. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you. When did they stop doing like so those? Uh, ah, say in a second. Uh, this past weekend, I paid a visit to see where my fifteen dollars went. Okay, so they're just having an ad for the academy, dude. I went, I went there once for a presentation, like, f like I don't know, like seven years ago for like a school assignment. I still get like emails <laughs> and yeah. letters in the mail they want you to asking go. for me to donate and stuff, and it's like, hey, I'm no, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not gonna donate. You're the damn academy. Yeah. You guys can afford know, it. Yeah. Figure it out. It's it's don't a nice, ask me. It's a nice place. I do want to go soon. Yeah. Yeah. It's cool. It's cool. I want to, I want to watch like this presentation on like uh, illusions in film. It was actually really cool. This is one of our most popular exhibits. Oh yeah, yeah. Tell me what this is. Billy Porter, Kiki Boots. Originally, it was called. Oh my god, I'm no, 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 no. What are they doing? Are you kidding me? This is the ad for the Cat Museum. Wanda Sykes just roasting and sat like degrading everything about the museum. Wow, I hate you. And this empty case honors her historic win. It also honors all the Oscars won by black directors. I'm sure you uh, know uh, uh, the first Oscar gown worn by Little Richard Cher in 1986 <laughs> when she presented at the Oscars but didn't receive a nomination. Uh, see, this is what you wear when you break up with Oscar. This is like the ultimate revenge gown because it says you could have had this. You could have had all this. I, I forget that like the the backstory behind it. And, I mean, they may not be something they want to telecast, but I think it was like they basically explicitly warned Cher not to dress up like, uh, like you know, flashy yeah, yes. at all. And then she was like, she, still she showed up extremely she flashy. Yeah, she was like, excuse me. Ah, I see Spike Lee. That's cool. Um, <laughs> sorry, E. T. looks so weird. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry, that made me laugh. Oh my God. <laughs> you didn't see Jason Momoa after filming all day underwater. <laughs> Wrinkly. Hey, Harvey Weinstein. Here we have film history with over 700 films from the Lumiere brothers to present day. You know, they have monitors like this at Best Buy. You pick the one you want, and they load it right into your car. All right, this is super cringe. Oh my gosh, please just move along. <laughs> oh man. Okay, this is already an F as a ceremony. Oh my gosh. They're going to go below this. Yes, yes. She's in Pachinko and Apple TV Plus. Go watch it. It's great. We'll cover that once it ends. Yeah. 
It's just so cute. This is, uh, this is, I like this. In this category, and then now I have to pronounce. <laughs> Please forgive me. <laughs> She's the best. In advance. <laughs> <laughs> well, here are the nominees the for performance yes, by an actor yeah. in a supporting role. Kieran Hines, Belfast. Right now, we'll come around and collect the money for every. Yeah, this is just Troy Coster is going to win Best Supporting Actor. Dude, get it, Troy. Come on. Come on, Troy. One of the boys would hold him up at gunpoint in the back and take all the money back off him. And then he'd hand it straight back to all the residents in the street with their little commission for the circus. Very effective system. I feel bad for Kieran Hines. <laughs> He's not going to get this. This is a weird one. <laughs> the weirdest, completely out of left field nomination. And he was, he's, and he's, it was a good in the role. Not he was lie. good, but it was, it was just like, weird. I don't know, man. He was on screen for like just, ten minutes. Let's see how nice it is. Oh, to be I'm glad his career blew up after this more than Aaron Paul. Surprisingly. Yeah. Right. I mean, I don't know if I'm like. I mean, Aaron Paul did fine. You know, he did BoJack. Yeah, he's fine. But, <laughs> but Jesse Plum is everywhere. He's going to be a Scorsese film this year. Yeah. All right, this one's weird, too. J.K. Simmons. He doesn't like the jokes about Ethel being unappealing. Yeah, there's no one within the sound of her voice who doesn't know that. I said what I felt. Is Jesse Plemons going to be an Oppenheimer? I feel like everyone's going to be an Oppenheimer. I, I don't like what jo Josh Peck is an Opp Oppenheimer. I'm sure. J.K. Yeah. Simmons going to be an Oppenheimer? I, I feel like so. everyone's going to be an Oppenheimer. <laughs> Is Cody Smith McPhee in Oppenheimer? Yeah. <laughs> he actually feels like he would fit in Oppenheimer. Yeah, he yeah. would. I think he would. How long do you expect it would take to finish that run? He's like probably my second favorite, or actually might be my favorite performance tied to Troy for best supporting. Well, won't be very long, Matt. It has a weird chameleon look to him, <laughs> and, and it's good. It's a unique look. Like, yeah. I'm every He's time he's on screen, far. I'm like, oh, uh, okay. he, he has a long career ahead of him. I think it's gonna be great. Yeah. And the Oscar goes to oh. no, not me, not. Oh my god. What? She's trying. She's trying to pronounce it. I'm trying to work hard. Oh, yeah, Troy. Troy nice, nice. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yeah. Nice, dude. Poor you. Uh, poor. <laughs> poor presenter. This guy's top of the world. I, I really hope he gets like more roles. Like even if it's like non-speaking or like or just anything. Just put him everywhere. Yeah, he can be in stuff. Yeah. Have his face in the face in the background. Just some random stuff. I just like seeing this guy. He's like lovely dude to just to to be in a film with. Yeah. I was saying the most, you know, blanket statements. Yes, but it doesn't matter. I love you, Troy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's sweet. <laughs> she took the award out of his hand, so I assume he could sign his acceptance speech. 
This is amazing to be here on this journey. I cannot believe I'm here. Thank you so much to all the members of the Academy for recognizing my work. It's really amazing that the, our film Coda has reached out worldwide. It even reached all the way to the White House. And they invited the cast to Coda to visit and have a tour of the White House. And we met a president, Joe, and Dr. Jill. And I was planning on teaching them some dirty sign language, but Marley Matlin <laughs> told me to behave myself. So don't worry, Marley. I won't drop any F-bombs in my speech today. Instead, I really want to thank all of the wonderful deaf theater stages where I was allowed and given the opportunity to develop my craft as an actor. Thank you. I read one of Spielberg's books recently, and he said that the best director, the definition of the best director was a skilled communicator. Sean Hader, you are the best communicator. And the reason why is you brought the deaf world and the hearing world together, and you are our bridge. And your name will forever be on that bridge, Sean Hader Bridge, here in Hollywood. And that was supported by Apple, Sundance, all of our cast, our crew, our producers, and the community of Gloucester, Massachusetts. So I just want to say, hey, fishermen, hey, Popeyes, don't forget to eat your spinach. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love Troy. Come on. We need to see him in that Marvel Super universe. Charming. I'm just kidding. My yeah, dad, why not? He was the best signer in our family. But he was in a car accident. And he became paralyzed from the neck down. And he no longer was able to sign. Dad, I learned so much from you. I'll always love you. You are my hero. Thank you. For, thank you to my biggest fans, my wife and my daughter, Kira, and my hometown of Mesa, Arizona, and Mark Finley, my manager, and our team. I just wanted to say that this is dedicated to the deaf community, the CODA community, and the disabled community. This is our moment. To my mom, my dad and my brother, Mark, they're not here today, but look at me now. I did it. Oh, my God. I oh, that almost brought a tear to my eye. Oh, wow. Okay, so he definitely has the best speech so far. Yeah, <laughs> easily. Yeah. The most charming guy. He won the ceremony. He won the ceremony. I'm sorry. You can end it right here. And it's okay. Yeah. He made up for all the Wanda Sykes trashing the Academy or like the Regina <laughs> Hall rubbing down male celebrities and groping them. Why? 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 Why can't we just see film editing? Why can't we see original? Oh my. You kidding me? I'm dying on the inside. Congratulations, Troy Kotzer, on winning Best Supporting Actor. What an incredible celebration of movies. And now, I'm very excited to share a special look at my new movie, Light Theater. Oh, wait, wait. Okay. I, I, I am excited for Lightyear. So okay. let's see this. Special look at Lightyear. A year of work for a four-minute flight. Isn't that something? He does sound like a young, young Tim Allen. <laughs> Thank you. Buzz Lightyear mission log. After a full year of being marooned on this planet, our first test flight is a go. Let's get everyone home. Good luck, this is the first time hearing his voice as Buzz. No, no, it's I mean, he said like you know Infinity. You know, he, in the last trailer he talked. Yeah, but I sorry, this is like the first extended like chance of listening to his voice. It's interesting. It sounds good, honestly. Yeah. I'm I'm worried that this cat's gonna annoy me. <laughs> like, but this is a light year t uh, extended trailer or a new trailer. Actually, is there anything different between this and the last trailer? Uh, there's some, right? More Zerg. Yeah. More of that bug thing. That's the first time I'm seeing the cat. And no, 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 he's no, using his little wrist laser thing. No, never mind. This is this was in the last trailer. Oh. Ocean Paradise. Whale calls. No, no. 
Wait, no, this is fine. Very well. Good night, Socks. Good night, Buzz. <laughs> I think the cat's going to be funny. Yeah. Yeah. I, I really I, hope it's... I, I trust Pixar now, honestly. Yeah, yeah, I think that they'll... You know, it, it, it's very easy, I think, for it to be annoying, but I feel like they're they're going to handle it. Yeah. Yeah. And now we're going to pause. Yeah, we're going to pause. We'll be back when, you know, things matter. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, Ryusuke Hamaguchi just won best of that screenplay. Hey! Oh my god, we got it so wrong. We nice. got it so wrong. I'd like to thank all the members of the Academy for having us here. Wow. And wow. I'd like to thank This is Oh wait, no no, this is best this is international feature film. I am so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, okay. we had to like run out for a second. By my car to United States. Thank you very much. All, all these films are great. Um a special shout out to a Hand of God and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Was that, this is my one of my favorite films of this year, so I'm glad it won. Yeah. Especially Tokomura, who dropped the less up 900 beautifully in the film. Mira-san, put it aside. Why was that there was a lady a, like, standing next to him, like, sketching? No, I, I think she was, she was supposed to be the translator, but, like, he just, like, straight up, like, toughed it out and just spoke in English the entire time. Yeah, good, good for, for him. him. Yeah. Or most of the time. But that's awesome, though. Good. Yeah, great job, man. Yeah, because I'd seen him do interviews where he did have a translator and stuff. So, uh, yeah, credit to him, man. I think he probably. I think I mean, he I'm sure he came prepped too. Yeah. Like, yeah. Congratulations, Drive My Car for many best international feature film. We've been doing pretty good in our predictions. Many of us feeling gutted. Yet when you witness the strength and dignity of those facing such devastation, it's impossible to not be moved by their resilience. One cannot help but be in awe of those who find strength to keep fighting through unimaginable darkness. The next nominee for best song is a story of hope, perseverance, and survival that celebrates the strength of the human spirit. Composed by 13-time Oscar nominee Diane Warren, here to perform, yeah, here to perform <laughs> Somehow You Do from the film Four Good Days, please welcome Reba McIntyre. I see. Once again, more performances and musical theme, but you can't show best film editing, best short films. So I'm going to repeat this the entire night. This is a surprise nomination, by the way. You know, I didn't actually hear this song. It's a nice song. Yeah, this one. This is the only song I haven't heard from the nominated list. I'm not like a big Reba fan or anything. Although I did watch her show a lot. I like the song. Yeah. Did you ever that. watch her show? No, I never did. <laughs> it's. Uh, Which one? I mean, it? it's exactly it, Reba. Oh yeah, Reba. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's exactly what you think it is, pretty much. Oh. Okay. <laughs> like that kind of standard sitcom, you know. But Reba's the mom, and she's like a tough single lady. Okay, definitely watch it. <laughs> <laughs> definitely watch it. I think I'm not a big fan of sitcoms. No, yeah. But this is a good performance. Yeah. Or maybe why I mess up, like, nah, there's something wrong with it. Like I said, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs>
Wow, that's a good song. Won't make me watch the film, but that's a good song. <laughs> <laughs> I heard the film's not that good, so yeah. Yeah. What was the film? It's like this uh, Mila Kunis and uh, Glenn Close movie, I think. Okay. Yeah. I, if something Four Good Days, I forgot. Ah. Uh, hey. Who's that guy? David Okuye. Oh, nice. All right. They've, they said a moment of silence for the people of Ukraine currently facing invasion. So good for them. They're highlighting this crisis. While film is an important avenue for us to express our humanity in times of conflict, the reality is millions of families in Ukraine need food, medical care, clean water, and emergency services. Resources and are scarce. And we collectively, as a global community, can do more. We ask you to support Ukraine in any way you are able. Hashtag stand with Ukraine. I, I thought they would like offer more like offer more links or something to Ukraine, but ah, whatever. All right, that's oh wait, oh no, they are. I think they're talking about what you could do for Ukraine, right? Yeah, I think so. Let's see. Batteries, flashlights, shelter, hope. Oh wait, I feel like they showed this already. The bases are now the essentials. The sad. Oh, it's yeah, another crypto. crypto. Okay, crypto yeah, thing. okay. Okay, we're gonna we're pause. Gonna pause. We'll be right back, and hopefully we won't come back mid. <laughs> no, oh. yeah. be right back guys and now we're back oh once again a pre-recorded live action uh, category oh I wish Al Kuchu would win but I already know Longa by wins haha ha. Al Kuchu was by far my favorite what's the one even putting the nominees that everyone already knows who wins yeah I guess just for people who only watch it live but. oh please hold yeah it's called yeah it's called we're rooting for it to win, right? Oh, wait, oh, it went a long, long goodbye. Oh. Uh, you know, in such divided times, we believe that the Roman story is to remind us that there is no us and them. There's just us. And this, this is for everyone who feels like they don't belong. Anyone who feels like they're stuck in a no man's land. You're not alone. We'll meet you there. That's where the future is. Peace. Good for him. And there's Guillermo del Toro. Best Picture nominee. Doom. Other than Power of Dogs, this is the one Best Picture nominee I've seen the most. <laughs> or, or I drive my car. I, I can't wait to see Javier Bardem just, you know, just really, like, give it in the this part two. Mm -hmm. I hate that that's like one of the wonkiest looking shots in the movie. The one where like uh, Paul is like, you know, fighting and stuff and then they show his face and it's like, oh, look, he's in the golden armor. It's easily one of the, the most the worst shots in the movie. And it's the one that they get show all the damn yeah. time. I actually don't think as oh, well. a life changing moment. I actually don't think it's wonky as, it, as most people think it is. It could be worse. But it's not my favorite. It, it could be worse. But I'm just saying in the movie, it's the worst. Yeah. Main history. But the worst shot in that is still better than all the uh, CGI shots in uh, Halo, the TV series. Well, I got to show you this one weird one where it's like, it's, oh my gosh. Reimagine beauty, empower the female form, express diversity in storytelling, and turn a superhero into an African king. Let's pay tribute to the outstanding visual storytellers who have shown us new worlds through costumes. Oh, I'm, <laughs> I'm used to being behind the camera. Uh, I'm proud to present the nominees for achievement in costume design. Cruella. We know Cruella. We don't know, but it's it's probably Cruella. Cruella, I think, you know. Perfect design, but we, yeah, they're good. We know. Dune, I love Dune. I, I, I oh, wouldn't want for Dune, so personally. Good. I think because of yeah. uh, Nightmare Alley is just really well done costume design. I like costume design in West Side Story, but it's not. It's just like I don't know. I think it's a little cheating because it's like we have the original reference. Yeah. Oh. Surprise! Surprise! I was like, it is well deserved. It's a good one. The the only uh, I mean uh, one of the, like the wardrobe specialists or like uh, costume designers I know that I've worked with in the past. Who is a fantastic designer? 
on herself. Uh, she was rooting for Cruella too, so that just like gives me more. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, okay, yeah, yeah, for sure. It was all about costumes and design. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's a high fashion kind of film, like you know, fashion on steroids. So it makes sense. There's the music. I just hate it when they do that. I just hate it. This is their one moment, please. Yeah, and especially when it feels like they are wrapping up. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's whatever. But uh, that's a great acceptance speech. I always like when they go out of their way to like acknowledge the people who work, you know, yeah, like underneath the them. supervisor and stuff. Yeah, everyone else who helps make it possible. Because yeah, of course they are like the one pulling the strings. But uh, film is a it's a group project. I haven't heard that before, actually. I've never heard that either. <laughs> oh. I hope so. <laughs> no, okay, I like that. For the first time ever, a live performance of the song from Encanto, a movie that I'm very, very proud to be a part of. And they're going to do that Bruno song, which they didn't ask me to sing, even though I am Bruno. <laughs> What's up with that? You know what I mean? Well, we know why, because I can't sing. But um, I'm sure you heard this song before. It's played more than times in Happy Birthday. So please take it away, fam. That is kind of funny that he is... Like uh, of the, like the entire cast pretty much makes a an appearance on this song, except, except for Bruno. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank you. 
Very cool. They have like the whole cast. Uh, wait, was she? I don't. I don't think recognize. So. Remember her? <laughs> I don't think she's in the regular version. She's jamming out with Zendaya though. Wait, what? Wait, what? This is. I don't remember this. You? No. Other nominee. Do not. Yeah, what the... Okay, <laughs> this was starting off strong. But this just kind of ruined it for me. I'm sorry, Megan the Stallion. You're a great person and stuff. But what the what the, what the the heck was that? <laughs> what the heck was that? Ah! Feels like the audio is off. I don't know. Is that just me? Yeah. They're adding Oscars dialogue into this, which I hate. That's terrible. They didn't do that with any of the other songs. What the hell? Yeah. No, please, no. It's a weird, trunk-rated, terrible version with the AZ Stallion version of... We don't talk about Bruno. What the heck is wrong with you guys? It's terrible. I, mean, I would scream right now, but... <laughs> that is weird. Why, what's up with, like, the, the background, too? Like, on the stage, there's, like... The Eiffel Keir, Tower. Kieran Hines doesn't look amused. He doesn't Statue look amused. Statue of Liberty. The Notre Dame. The Pyramids of Giza. The Sphinx. That's not what we don't talk about Bruno is about. The Easter Island head. They're trying to show the whole world. I don't know. I, I guess. I don't know. Why not just do like an original song here? <laughs> I mean, I think it is. Doing We Don't Talk About Bruno seems like a no brainer because it is like arguably the biggest uh like you know movie song, song like last year, year. For, yeah so definitely seems to make sense it's weird that it's the one they chose to really just uh kind of butcher that was weird okay well anyway we're right back to an ad we're gonna cut it here we'll be back for the next round <laughs> and we're back bts thoughts about how much they love pixar <laughs> and Disney. <laughs> I, I like King Richard. This was as best as this movie could have been, I think. Yeah, they I think did a so. Good job with this film. Yeah. Not my type, but really good. It, it's just, yeah, it, it kind of exactly what you expect. <laughs> what is this? Wanda Sykes is pushing out. Okay. Her only funny bit so far. Pushing out. Uh, you know, she's looking like King Richard. <laughs> Richard Williams, the shopping cart full of tennis balls. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> never mind. No longer funny. <laughs> I just... Okay, yeah, never mind. I've lost all respect for the Oscars now. <laughs> <laughs> Amy Schumer just shot down a Spider Man for people who don't know. The, I'm compulsing. I am uh, dying. I am being nuked inside <laughs> while watching this bit of Tammy Faye, King Richard, and Spider Man played by these hosts. Fifteen year anniversary of Juno winning best original screenplay. She's kidding. She. Simmons. I forgot J.K. Simmons was in that movie. I haven't yeah. watched Juno probably like fifteen years. <laughs> well, well, I, I keep on forgetting her name. Uh, ben Affleck's ex-wife. Oh, Jennifer Garner. Yeah, Jennifer Garner. Jennifer Garner and J.K. Simmons barely aged. Yeah, they refused to age. I mean, yeah. to be fair, neither is a. Uh, uh, oh, crap! What's the name? Ellen Page. All right, no, it's Elliot Page now. Elliot, oh, my no, bad. Elliot Page. Elliot, Elliot Page. Page. Sorry. 
original screenplay. Yes, they, they barely aged. Yeah, they all look exactly the same. Anthony worked from the very first page and was completely infused with Diablo Cody's distinctive voice. It was like, and it was unlike anything I'd ever read before. There were definitely some phrases in there I had not read before. Uh, a couple that come to mind are, your ego is prego and pork swords. And he sounds the same too. <laughs> yeah. Pork <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I'm curious who's win. This is Belfast versus Licorice Pizza. Wait, wait. So wait. I think I did Licorice, right? And you did Belfast. Yes. Uh, here, let's pull this up. Please, please, Licorice. I, I, I just, I want him an award. I want him to get an award. Paul Thomas Anderson, please. Fifteen award. I mean, eleven awards, no wins. That's just really sad. I wouldn't be sad if he won, though. The worst person in the world. No, this is the best original screenplay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I chose Belfast. Philip chose Licorice Pizza. Oh, okay, now we're tied. I got too wrong. You got too, you got, you got too wrong. I got too wrong. <laughs> what did I say? I was like, I feel like this is the one where they'll give it to him, you know? Oh, my god. Unfortunate gosh. for Kenneth. Uh, I no, think no, he's extremely extremely talented. Talented. Paul Thomas Emerson. Yeah, yes. Yeah. And I was going to say, I feel like he's just not going to get anything else for this film, unfortunately. And this no. f- feels like this really was his big push, which is unfortunate. But I'm sure he's going to pull something out later on. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately, again, for Paul Thomas Anderson, who's gone on a super drought, you know, poor guy. 11 Academy Award nominations. No wins. I'll say this does boost his chances of winning the best picture, but I don't think so. It won't win. Yeah. Here, let's give Kenneth a chance. This story is the search for joy and hope in the face of violence and loss. We lost some people along the way. Johnny Sessions, Jim Dorn and Leah Newman. We miss them, we love them, we will never forget them, and we will never forget all of those lost in the heartbreaking, heartwarming, human story of that amazing city of Belfast on the fabulous island of Ireland. This means a lot. Thank you so much. Well, I, I'm glad he got something. You know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, like th- this film did deserve some. I mean, it it did get recognition though. That's the thing. But yeah. I, I'm glad to see it get. You know, for Kenneth to win some in particular. Oh man. Please welcome Sean Mendez and Tracy Ellis Ross. See that Sean Yeah. That's Sean Mendez. Yeah. Plays and songs. Yeah, oh, oh that's screenplay. Messages, TikTok dances, recipes. Recipes. So for this oh, one, I, I chose Power of the Dog. Can you imagine the depth and the lightness in a screenplay? Philip chose Coda. Salad? Yeah. I mean, have you ever tried to make one? Can, can you split. imagine how you would find the through line, Sean? How would you adapt that sweet yet crunchy nuance? I have one Power of the Dog to win, though. The grape and the walnut. Mm. Well, the best writers do not do that. Yes, they do. Hey, both looking very stylish. Shall we yeah. Some yes, it seems like we've set the table for the talent. <laughs> Here are the nominees for adapted screenplay. Right, Sean Mendes. This is probably the most important award tonight. Whoever wins this will probably win Best Picture. This is, should be huge. Okay, okay. Victoria Bedos, Stanislas Correa Malberg, Eric Ladigo, and Tomas Bedigan. Well, yeah, people forget that Coda is a remake. Coda is a remake? Yeah, it's a remake of a French film. That's, that's, what? That's, that's, that's why I also I like give it a little less <laughs> props too. I didn't yeah. know that. How did I not know that? We mentioned that before. We in our Oscar nominee and the Oscar uh, predictions. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> See, most people don't know that Dune is based off a book. I know. Not even joking. I, I do know somebody who doesn't know Blue is based off a of book. That's hilarious. That's sad. <laughs> I think for me personally, with the power of the dog drive my car. But oh my gosh, oh my, I'm, I'm tense, 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 tense. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh, okay. Coda won. Wow. Coda's winning best picture. Coda's winning best okay. picture. Oh wow. Coda's winning best picture. Coda's winning best this picture. This is crazy. Oh my god. I'm so sad. I'm depressed. Never mind. I said I was okay with Coward Dog not winning. Is... Never mind. I lied. <laughs> I lied. I don't want wow. Koto to win. Oh, good for her, but wow. 
Coda. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. So Coda, I think Coda, it's it's Coda's Coda's gonna win then, right? I, it seems yeah. very likely. Again, wow. now if if they don't win, that'd be a massive upset. So, so far, they've won Best Supporting Actor. They won all his nominations so far. They only had three nominations, which is also very and low Coda. animated. Oh yeah. I mean, sorry. And screenplay. Yeah. So, I want to thank my team, Doug. Rob, I'm excited for what she does after my this. producers, yeah. all of you for believing in me and how I wanted to make this movie. I want to thank Sundance for starting this journey. I, I want to thank um, Apple for being amazing partners on this ride. Um, writing and making this movie was truly life-changing as an artist and as a human being. I want to thank all of my collaborators in the deaf community and the CODA community for being my teachers, um, and in Alexandria for bringing my words to life in this beautiful cinematic language. I want to thank my entire crew. Um, I don't want to name you all Paula Giraud, Marius, Nick, um, Dave, Joe, Oh my God, Diane, all of you, um, my incredible cast, um, Amelia, Marley, Troy, Daniel, oh, Hedia, hey, Ferdia, Amy, you guys are incredible, you're my family, and I want to thank my real life family, my mom and dad are here somewhere up there, my sister, Tara. I mean, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, <laughs> you made me make things. My it was a good screenplay. I think it was like one of I think it might have been the weakest one of my five personally for me. It yes. <laughs> Very possibly. Yeah. I know people say Dune, but no, Dune is really hard. That's a yeah. miracle they made that work. Yeah, no, yeah, I, for half. Yeah, I agree. Lost Daughter, very good. Drive my car. Fantastic. The best one, in my opinion. Yeah, Power of the Dog, also really good. Makoto was really solid. But again, it's that huge sentimental yeah. piece. And also, it's a remake of a film. <laughs> I get all these other based on books and stuff. But books are harder. Book to film. But film to film, a lot, lot easier. A lot easier. Yeah. Let's just say this. Yeah. As an exercise for a writing course, I did that. A lot easier. Top five favorite fan favorite films. Okay. Tick, tick, boom. I'm glad this is <laughs> Sorry. This is just starting to feel like the like Nickelodeon MTV or something. Or Nickelodeon <laughs> MTV Award. Like, what are you guys doing? Oh, it's number four? Spider-Man No Way Home. I thought it was going to be number four. one because it's based on the votes. You could like the fans vote on yeah. this. Yeah. Interesting. Wait, how is this not number one? Tick, tick, boom. No Way Home. Minamata. What the fuck is this? Oh, this is the one where uh, Johnny Depp film where he plays a photographer who photographs. Okay. Like, but this is number intro. three. This yeah, is more than No Way Home. Are you really me? Okay, this is bullshit. Oh my god. This is bull. Oh, what is happening? What are the world going to do? Who voted for this? No, dude, there's like super Cinderella stance for this film. I did, I never thought it was that bad or anything, but like Wait, you're kidding Army me. of the <laughs> Dead is number this, one. This is insane. Bad favorite. Oh my god. What? Zack Snyder says you're the worst. You are the worst. You really you are, are the worst. You are you kidding me? This is a fan favorite film of the Army of the Freaking dead. <laughs> I, I, I really try to hold myself from not cussing. But why you're making it hard? <laughs> Army of the dead? I, I really can't believe this. this, this is, there were dead pixels in the movie. <laughs> this is like terrible. <laughs> like I've I've like oh my god. I usually try to defend Zack Snyder, you know, every once in a while. But, but this not, is not like indefensible. One. This is like his worst movie by far. What is wrong with you people? I even <laughs> like Sucker Punch more. Oh my yeah, yeah. god. Yeah, hell yeah, Sucker I Punch. I actually enjoyed Sucker, Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch was good visually and had some like interesting action. This movie was just it was garbage. Oh my god. And Sucker Punch was lit by Larry Fong. Okay. Yeah, literally alarms are going off from how bad this is. <laughs> Alright. It's another ad. We'll pause real quick. Okay. I need to go cool off. This is oh god. Okay. Hans Zimmer for best, uh, what's it called? Uh, best score, of course, for Dune because it was incredible. So of course it's gonna win. He's not here because he was like, I know I'm gonna win. I don't need to show up. <laughs> now they're giving some love to Licorice Pizza, which is great. <laughs> sand. Sand. 
Okay, so Philip was in the bathroom, but you missed it. Hans Zimmer won for uh, best original score because right, of course he did. That yes, was yeah, that was pre-recorded. Yeah. Uh, he wasn't there because he was like, I know I'm gonna win, so he didn't even bother. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. He hasn't won since the Lion King. <laughs> Barely hear Robbie Malek. I don't think he knows how to speak without being creepy. Even the way he was like walking towards the camera there gave me a chill. Yeah, it gave me Mr. Robot vibes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited to see this actually performed. Performance by Billy Eilish and Phineas O'Connell for No Time to Die. In case you haven't heard Robbie Malek. Ooh, it was like cool laser effects. One of the best performances, I think, tonight so far. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't been going to like the song a lot more. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I like they're showing the like the visuals from the opening of the of the movie in the background. That's pretty cool. Because again, it being a Bond film, yeah. They always have that sick opening. Wow, she killed it. Oh, wow. Yeah. I guess now we're all living in Billie Eilish's world. You know what I mean? And they'll come back again for next year for Turning Red. <laughs> Your Ron's favorite movie, by the way, of 2022 so far. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good one. Yeah. It's, it's good. Yeah. You know, it's cute. It's not amazing. <laughs> <laughs> for you, yeah. <laughs> Wow, film editing. I don't know who won. I do know who wins. Who won? It's Dune. Joe Walker. Wow, how did I know that? Because it was pre-recorded. Dune. No tension. No tension. By the <laughs> way, Power of the Dogs, zero wins so far. Zero That's wins. crazy. 12 nominations, zero wins. Do you think it's possible that Power of the Dog comes out of this winless? No, no, no. Because no, Jane Campion is going to win. Best director. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Yeah, because Sean Hader is also not nominated, too, for Best Director. Mm. Yeah. Neither is Denis. Yeah. So our big competitors are not there. Now, 
Now, words of wish that I agree with all my heart. And above all else, thank you, Denny. Merci du fond du cœur. This is a tribute to you. Thank you. Thank you. I really like that everyone is acknowledging Denis. Like, everyone does that, of course, for, like, yeah. you know, big wins and stuff. Well, particularly but, like, Denis. Yes, particularly Denis with Dune. Like, Dune was his, like, baby. Power, like, it, it was his passion project, for sure. And the fact that he didn't even get nominated it, is kind of, it's just wild. <laughs> It's kind of grown on me, Nightmare Alley too. That yeah, film. Nightmare yeah, Alley. It's like I, I really liked it when it first came out. I really want to see the black and white version. Rebecca Hall is crushing it with all the different outfits. Yeah. Wait, wait. You mean Regina Hall? Oh yeah, sorry. Regina. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not, not Rebecca Hall. <laughs> I would love to see Rebecca Hall here. They crush on Rebecca Hall. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, that's the one joke that was funny. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that was actually pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Even one of the sides like, wow, that's so good. I actually laughing. <laughs> Okay, that was cringe. Oh, really? NFT Joe. Low ball. Low hanging fruit. Is that Ashton Kutcher? Yeah, Ashton Kutcher oh, yeah. is there. Mila Kunis. Yeah, Mila Kunis is there. So that makes sense. <laughs> Ashton's tagging along. Uh, a quote from Kim Kardashian. Work harder. That's right. That's what we need you to do. You got it. Now, Mila Kunis, she's going to be the star of the show. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's not funny. You got to move that ass, man. You got to Wow, this had more more time dedicated to film editing, which is a backbone of the entire film post production process. <laughs> hey, oh, there actually is an orchestra. I didn't oh, know cool. there was. I thought there was just that band, you know, like that studio band thing. Please welcome Chris Rock. Yes. Hey, he should have just hosted Chris. the Oscars, or dude, for yeah, real. Yeah. I bet you he didn't want to. <laughs> no, no, he got a crap for everyone. I mean, he hosted it twice, right? Or just once? Wow. Has he? Nice. I think it might have been. Nice. No, it was twice. It was twice. Guys? Yeah. Just breathing raw dog tonight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Already better. 10 million times better. <laughs> She does look like someone for G.I. Jane. <laughs> Will just came out on stage. Oh. Wow. Oh. oh, that was planned. <laughs> oh, he said something bad. <laughs> What's happening? Is that real? Oh, snap. This is. Oh. Oh snap, dude! What the? Okay. That was the uh, greatest night in the history of television. Okay. Okay. What the heck, wow, dude? Wow, that's awesome. To uh, 
get a documentary out to give an Oscar. Oh, did he actually slap Chris Rock? I think he did. Now, the beauty of documentaries, because they, they make you, when you watch one, you feel smart. Like you watched them, like, you know, like you read a book or something. But all you really did was get high and watch Netflix. That was awkward as heck. So here we go. Here we go. Wow, that's so weird. Holy crap. The nominees are, let's just go to the nominees. Uh, what the what? heck was that? That was crazy. Come on, Will. Will this Smith. is Chris Rock. Chris Rock said a lighthearted joke. I mean, he said, oh, I can't wait to see IGI I. Jane or whatever. Because she's bald. Yeah. That's it. Unless we find out that she has like cancer. Then I guess maybe that's why he's sensitive. I don't but for, know. For, I don't think that's the case. He walked up and he smacked Chris Rock across the face and was like cursing at him. Like yelling at him and stuff. Holy snap. I feel bad for the documentaries because I don't think anyone gives a crap about that right now. Yeah. Okay, Summer of Soul is probably going to win. Dude, Will. Or, or maybe Fleet. Will, what like, the heck? Will, I, I get it. It's Chris Rock. You've never heard a Chris Rock joke before? That's yeah. like really... Dude, that was, Chris Rock made a joke where he saying that um, Jude Law was discount Tom Cruise. Like, he's is just known for his stuff. What the fuck? Dude. And he's in the front, too. I hope this is right. Summer of Soul. Summer of Soul. Wow, Will. Thank you for just completely Dude, deflating. I know. Yeah. Wow. That was like the most entertaining the Oscars has been in like 60 years. <laughs> Holy crap. That was crazy. That, th that totally seemed staged at first. But, but no, like, I guess it was an actual thing. That was an actual thing. That's nuts. Chris looks like he was seething. He immediately left. Yeah. He looks like he's, he's going to like smack down Will Smith. I don't think that would have went down Holy well for him. Holy crap. Dude, this is insane. Oh, no, he's still there. He's, he's still, still there. there. Go for him. Classy. Super classy. Yeah. Will Smith is shaking everyone's hand. Hey, good for Quest Love. Glad to see him. Yeah. First, I would like to acknowledge Attica, Ascension, and Flea, and Riding with Clyde for their powerful work. A lot of strong documentaries this year. Yeah. The story of the Harlem Cultural Festival should have been something that my beautiful mother, my dad, should have taken me to when I was five years old. And I'm just, this is such a stunning moment for me right now. Um, but this is not about me. This is about marginalized people in Harlem that needed to heal from pain. And just know that in 2022, you know, this is not just a 1969 story about marginalized people in Harlem. This is a story of, 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 I'm sorry, I'm just overwhelmed right now. Um, look. Is that Beyonce? Oh, it's Beyonce. Um, yeah, she performed I'm like in the beginning. Yeah. And I'll thank you, everyone, probably when I get off stage. But on behalf of, of Hulu and Searchlight and Onyx, the beautiful woman of Onyx, and. and uh, I, I really recommend Summer Soul. It's like the easiest documentary to watch, and, and it's super fun. Action and Vulcan and radical media and. On behalf of Joseph and and uh, I'm so happy right now. I could cry. Thank you. She's freaked out right now. Sean Hader, you missed it. Sean Hader was like, "What the heck, man?" She's still reading, reeling from the Will Smith slap. Dude, look at Chris Rock. He's just like, "Damn." Oh, even even Guess was like, "Whoa, dude, what was that about?" Dude. Please welcome Sean Diddy Combs. I, I lost a lot of respect for Will Smith. At the yeah, point. like I've, I haven't liked Will Smith that much in a while, like for a bunch of different reasons. But what I the was hell say, was that? Um, let's make some noise for Amy, Regina. <laughs> He's not going to mention Manda. I'm just kidding. Wanda, That's it. Oh, thank God. Thank God. <laughs> I did not know that this year was going to be 
Hey, P. Diddy, shut up. Okay, it's not. Will and Chris, we're going to solve that like family at the gold party. Okay? But right now, we're moving on with love. Everybody make some noise. She does look like somebody that's going to be G.I. Jane, too. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> He's speaking the truth. Okay, but she has cancer. I'm sorry for laughing at this because we never know. Jeez, I guess so. But yeah, we never. Knew. I'm serious. Like you never know. Like hindsight, 2020. Yeah, dude. Just rewatch part part three. It's kind of resonated with me better over time. Things that are universal as they transcend all cultures. The desire for respect and legitimacy, loyalty over betrayal, overcoming all the odds in pursuit of power. But most importantly, the value of family and community. Tonight we pay tribute to an undeniable classic, The Godfather, on his 50th anniversary. So why is P. Diddy introducing The Godfather? Why? Why? Because, uh, you know, I have no idea. <laughs> what the heck is this remix? Oh my gosh. I spent my life protecting my family. You will not give, I'll take. Guess what I thought I was out. Really, you can't just use the original score? Really? I don't know. It feels a little off, c considering you know one thing the Godfather is known for. It's this incredible score. Oh, now the, the Godfather sounds not even there. All right, finally, sounds right. Finally. Oh. Wait, oddly enough, Francis Ford Clovo looks like the healthiest among the three. <laughs> That's weird. Is he the youngest? No, he's not. No, he's he not. Can't be. He's not. Right? No. I he's... think they're all like, they got to be like roughly the same age, right? Like, yeah. All... But Francis Ford Clovo is supposed to be older, actually. He's older. He's the oldest one. Oh, he does look. Actually, you know, on those longer. Well, yeah, actually, no, Robert, Robert De Niro looks okay. he, he looks pretty old. Yeah, Robert De Niro, I think, looks like the youngest. I think he is the youngest. Makes yeah. the most sense. I think uh, I feel moments like this should be sincere and brief, and I'm so grateful to my two wonderful friends to come here to help me uh, celebrate with you uh, this project that we began 50 years ago with really the most extraordinary collaborators, many of them legends, and so many of them that uh, uh, I can't take the time to list them all, but you know them all well. So I can only thank two from the bottom of my heart. One is a collaborator who has my, I've thanked many times, and every time you see the name The Godfather, his name is above the title, Mario Puzo. Nice, nice. And another, and I know that I've never thanked, but the time is due that I do, because it was his participation and his decisions at the end that made it possible. Robert Evans. The producer, I think. I got to double check. Okay. Al Pacino looks Thank lost. Viva Ukraine. Yeah. Is that the first, like, spoken mention of Ukraine? I think so. Yeah, Robert yeah. Evans is the producer for Godfather. I wonder why he never acknowledged him before. I'm sure there was like some kind of infighting and stuff. I think he's gonna be played with Miles Teller on the uh, the offer show. Oh, very yeah. cool. Why is P Diddy the one out of all the people? <laughs> no, that was, that was what weird. The heck is this wrong has been with a really weird Oscar. <laughs> Oscar so I far. Mean, oddly, like even those cringe. It's like at a lot of times, I, it's like cringe tainting or I don't know. 
I mean, I don't know what's going on. Okay, we'll we'll I, be back. I'll be really heartbroken if this is like the highest viewed Oscars in a while. I think it might be. <laughs> I think it might be. At least to the MTV, um, the TikTok crowd. Yeah. Okay. I think people are gonna be arguing whether that was real or fake, but I don't think. No, no. That, I think that like, was pretty at the end. Like, that, that had to be real, right? Like, there's no way no, Will Smith would agree to slap Chris Rock across the face unless because that makes him look like an asshole. I think and then Chris no Rock. Way, yeah. Chris like, Rock was just, you could tell, very uncomfortable. Yeah. And, and they paused it. Yeah. And not paused it. They, like, muted the whole thing. Yeah. And there's no way Chris Rock would agree to be slapped either. Like, he's not just going to take that. No. Oh, my gosh. This is it, professionalism on Chris Rock. We're yeah. just standing there presenting the thing. Wow. Yeah. That was insane. Okay. We'll, we'll be back. Now we're back on the tribute to Sidney Poitier, who is an absolute fantastic actor. Uh, one of the, you know, what's going to pave the ways for actors like Denzel Washington and Morgan Freeman, or even like modern day people. This is like the in memoriam for the Oscars. William Hurt, that still hurts. That's just, that's fresh. That's tragic, honestly. It's even, dude, so many people died recently. This was a rough year. You know? Yeah, this one. The one that died on the set. Oh, snap. Yeah, remember what? The Alec Baldwin? That was this year? Oh, yeah, yeah duh. Oh, yeah. that Beatty from Network. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, Peter Bagdanovich. If you guys watch The Sopranos lately, he's also no, uh, a wonderful director and writer, too. Michael K. Williams. No. <laughs> this is this sad. Oh yeah! Oh my, Martin, Martha the Lawrence? No way! Oh okay. Uh, oh yeah, Richard Donner died too. Oh snap! I forgot Richard Donner passed away. And Ivan Reitman just and recently Ivan passed away. Ivan Reitman, who's ten years old, his parents gave him a sleeping pill, wrapped him in a blanket, and put him beneath the deck of a boat to escape Czechoslovakia. He made some movies, some really good movies. He married a pretty girl and raised some children, and they make movies too. Ivan, I love your work. Nice, nice. Dude, I, dude that was a surprise when Ivan died. He was just like promoting Ghostbusters Afterlife recently. Yeah, I mean, he was fairly young. Yeah, I was just like, and he seemed so like energetic too when he was promoting it, but I don't know. You never know. Yeah, Sony Chiba. Okay, that hurt too. Oh, yeah, Sony Chiba. Lena or Mel. Oh. What the heck? I didn't know. Oh, yeah, this guy. Trumbull. George Trumbull, the visualist guy. The Star Wars effect. Yeah, I remember. You know, I kind of like that they have this, like, like a kind of like happy, uh, like, yeah, happy music, you know, it's celebrate like, their life and stuff. Yeah. yeah, because it's like, I think everyone's acknowledging, and this is again why I think, like, one of the reasons why I feel is going to win. It's, it's just going like, to win. It's just point. been heavy, man. Yeah. Which is which kind of sucks in my opinion for me. It's like we're like not necessarily the best. Film. Oh my god, Melvin Van Peebles! I forgot about that too. Ah, oh, this is our Alan Ladd Jr. is also um, for anybody who produced produces school. He's a big guy. No Taylor for Blade Runner, Norman Lloyd, Rudy Thompson, animator. Brad, yeah, Brad Allen, who was the Jack, one of Jackie Chan's um, son team. And he also did the choreography for Shang-Chi. Max Julian. Who is Ernst Guy? Tony, oh, okay. Tony Walton. Yeah, oh, Betty White. Oh, they ended up Betty White. Just like this. So, the greatest gift you could give anyone is to open your heart and your home 
and we've got the rescue dog just like mac and cheese from paul works so thank you betty thank you for being a friend. she had like 30 dogs or something right she just like adopted a bunch of dogs i have no idea no kids lots lots of dogs yeah that's cool Marilyn Bergman, Aziz Rukas. God, a lot of people died. Jane Powell. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, this guy. John, this guy, John Mark Devaya. He did the oh. Dallas Buyers Club, and oh, that guy. Yeah. That was a random death. Yeah. What's it called? John Mark's death was like super random. That guy was up and coming too. <laughs> Sorry, I, I, <laughs> this is, I'm, oh uh, yeah, what? I'm sorry, I was laughing at something else. <laughs> this is a terrible time to laugh. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so also another thing that's been pre-recorded that everybody already knows a winner too is it gonna be Nightmare Mally or Dune? No, it's gonna be Dune. Because they already announced the winner. Ha 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 Although Tragedy to Macbeth, honestly, I was really rooting for Tragedy to Macbeth. I think he had the like, best one. Yeah. Or actually, uh, it's, I think it's Tragedy to Macbeth. It's the most unique one. one. Yeah. yeah. And, okay, and yeah. Actually, it goes to Dune. I'm still thinking about the, <laughs> the slap. Yeah. <laughs> this is crazy. It's crazy that the film with the most Oscars win doesn't win Best Picture. Yeah, <laughs> for real. I just want to thank everyone, my team, and everyone who participated and for the opportunity. Because I don't thank you. It's like it's like the film that has all this all the stuff that makes a film and wins everything, but doesn't win Best Picture. Kind of like uh, when Mad Max Fury won a bunch of awards, but nah. Howard the Dog, I wish you would win, but I don't think you will. Came out the wrong year. That's crazy, and they spent so much money on, like, the Oscar campaign I mean, this year. There's a chance they still have a chance they could win. Uh, no, I'm not hopeful at this point. I guess uh, I, I want to be wrong. I really want to be wrong. Now, will they count as an upset if they win? <laughs> oh, it's best director now, right? Oh no, no, actress, actor, actor. Okay, so this is gonna get awkward if Will Smith wins. From a universal road of addiction and recovery to the elite realm of international espionage, those compositions, these compositions, took us on deeply human journeys around the world. Their powerful and engaging lyrical motifs, combined with dynamic. Oh, best song. Best song. Oh, best song. <laughs> <laughs> Each piece created an emotional experience that will remain with us long after the final credits. Here are the nominees for original song. Best original song. Be Alive from King Richard. Music and lyric by Dixon and Beyonce and Liz Harding. We, we bet on No Time to Die, or did you bet someone else? No, I, I think... I can't remember if I said Be Alive. Hold on, let me check here. Shit. <laughs> Let's just say we both said no time to die. Yeah. <laughs> no time to die. I think Be Alive was like the dark horse for me. Yeah. I'm rooting for No Time to Die, personally. It's a good one. Yeah. Poor Glenn Close also has never won Best Actress. Yeah. Although she's won like a bunch of Emmys, didn't she? 
I think so. I don't know. We'll check yeah. on that. Here we are. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. So we're good. We've only got Yay. two wrong each, right? So far. Yeah. Good for her. And him. My God, are they gonna be EGOT winners? That's crazy. that's like my first thought was too. I was like, I'm pretty sure they they have Geo on the road. They have Grammy and Oscar, so they just need to get an Emmy and a Tony, yeah. which is possible. It's all possible nowadays. Very talented, you know. I, I wasn't huge on Billie Eilish before, but I'm like kind of she's been creeping up. Those, especially after uh, Phineas O'Connell's uh, musical score for The Fallout. Yeah, the guy is super talented. And her too, her too. It says live on the bottom. It is not live. <laughs> best original song has more screen time than best film editing. I think so. I'm bitter. Thank you so much. There's real bitterness in the air. Yeah, Gary Fukunaga. Oh, Marr. Johnny Marr, right. He was who worked on the song. Laura, we love you so much. Um, and thank you to Tony Siler. We love you. <laughs> Lastly, we want to thank our parents who um, have always been our biggest inspirations and our heroes. And we love Oh, that's the voice of some, I think, a Mass Effect character, too. the mom. Um, thank you so much to the Academy. We promise not to lose you. <laughs> Oh, Billy Eilish's reaction is priceless. That's not. I like that. Like she's like she's genuinely happy. It, I I'm happy for her, but I'm I'm not gonna lie. It, it always gives me just a little, a little twinge, of uh, of um I don't know because I, her I mom is famous too. No, uh, uh. yeah, not that that sure. But also it's like she's like 23. Like oh yeah, she, yeah. she's not even like 23. How old is she? She's like she's she's young, super young. young. Jesus. Yeah. I mean, good for her. You know, yeah. deserving it. She, she's worked hard. I think it's like definitely helped by her brother, right? Oh, yeah. I, think yeah. I mean, her it, brother it, is like both the true brain. Yeah, yeah, both of them are great. Good evening. You know, uh, you know, about a half a mile from here, I saw my first full length adult movie. <laughs> what? Wait, what? <laughs> I know what you're but I was. Uh, I was seven years old and I was away from my parents and wanted to have some fun. It was a cowboy movie called How the West Was Won. And what I witnessed that afternoon in the Cinerama Dome oh, wait. was perfect. Are you going to bring it back, Cinerama Dome? When we still had them, open to a film almost four hours long. It had an intermission where the score continued subtly signaling at one point that the second half was about to start. I don't know where everyone went, but I wasn't gonna move an inch. I decided that I would not give up my magic seat. I was determined that I would not miss a minute. And as I sat in that dark that afternoon, 60 years ago, all I really knew was that I was in careful hands. Little did I know that three directors would be responsible for that epic moment in my life. They fired my imagination and they captured my heart. And that's what can happen when you direct a movie. You can change a mind. You can change the trajectory of a life, of a career. I wonder where this is going. Capture heart. Best director? Oh, it's best director. But you can't do it alone. Or is it? And directors, the t tonight's directors all know the possibilities. They know what's at stake. It's why they give their precious time. It's why they choose to fight through the long days and the longer nights and the endless questions and the inevitable second guessing that comes from those who would do it differently if given half a chance. These five directors have all managed to stay the course. They have all held the line and masterfully given us the gift 
of a single vision. And for that, we honor them. Here are the nominees for Chief. That was oddly long and melodramatic for an intro. <laughs> yeah. And it was, at first, I was like, I like the story about him, but. It's Ryusuke. Oh my gosh. Come on. Come on, Kevin Costner. Did no one teach you? And the Oscar goes to Jane Campion. Wow. Well, yeah. I mean, we all saw that coming. But, yeah. I mean, good for her. She did. She directed the heck out of that. So, yeah. You know, that, was, that was great. And I think, I think this is also the first time it's been a back to back uh, female director win. <laughs> Last year being No Man Land, Chloe Zhao. Yeah. Right. So this is, as she previously, and the Ken Campion previously won for uh, Best Original Screenplay for the Piano. So this is her second Oscar on her mantle. Good for her. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> <laughs> hey, she's definitely a fun, jokey type. Yeah. Oh, Kevin um, Caster. Kevin Caster is awkward. Nominees. I love you all. You're all so extraordinarily talented. And it could have been any of you. Yeah, except for you, Venus and Serena. Kia ora, Aotearoa, New Zealand and Australia. I love directing because of the deep dive into story. Yet the task of manifesting a world can be overwhelming. The sweet thing is, I'm not alone. On The Power of the Dog, I worked with actors. I moved to call my friends. They met the challenge of this story with the depth of their gifts. Benedict Cumberbatch, Kirsten Dunst, Cody St. McPhee, Jesse Clemens. I'm rooting for Benedict or Andrew, but I know it's going to be Will Smith. And my whole crew who are true hearts. I thank my brilliant producers, Tanya Sagetian, who is always by my side. She's rocking those glasses. Netflix, your whole awesome team embraced this film from the very beginning. Thank you so very much. And my home people, my family, you know who you are, especially Alice, my daughter, here. And Tony, my beautiful partner. You gave me so much love and encouragement and made it fun. But it would be impossible without the man I never met, Thomas Savage. He wrote about cruelty, wanting the opposite to kindness. Thank you, Academy. It's a, it's a lifetime honor. Thank you. Thank you. Lots of calls. Yeah, I feel this green book, green book all over again. She wins, and then it's gonna be uh, Coda. All the Coda wins. Oh my gosh! <laughs> so how many wins is that for Power Dog? Just one. Just one so far. Just one, because all of it went to Dune. Yeah, Coda has one more awards than Power Dog. Oh my god, this boggles my mind. Ah, my mind has been boggled. Huh. <laughs> I, there's nothing else to say about Pulp Fiction other than it's great. See, this one actually makes sense. This makes more sense than white, I don't know, white men white men can jump or something like that. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean? White men can jump was a a huge step in uh, for Woody in Harrison's film career. Harrison. Yeah, and Woody Harrelson <laughs> and Wesley Snipes' career. <laughs> I feel weird about and Woody Harrelson Rosie looking Perez. that skinny. Uh uh, you mean uh, Wesley Snipes? No, well, not Woody Harrelson. Wesley Snipes. I hope he's okay. I yeah. mean, obviously, people are allowed to be skinny, but like, he seems like I don't know. I hope he's healthy. Yeah, I hope he's healthy. Okay. I, maybe we're just overthinking it. Yeah. Okay, La that was bad. Three tomatoes are walking down. 
mayhem that occurred in two hours and 45 minutes was about what was in here. And at the end of the film, the exact reveal, and the audience still was left to draw their own conclusions about the meaning of existence. Damn, just couldn't help you write that. You know what you should do? You should teach a master class. Actually, I do. <laughs> now, should we finally reveal what's actually in this Oh, Thurman is aging incredibly well, too. John Travolta, not so much. <laughs> John Travolta's looked the same since, like, taking a Pelham one, two, three. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean... Oh, okay, that's cool. <laughs> and Sam Jackson, of course, is he's aged incredibly well, too. Yeah. I love how I read that. One of the best actors on planet. Ter- nah, no, miscast. Miscast, yeah. I now after this I want an upset so bad. I want an upset so bad. She sold him? Why would she do that, Phil? She knew that we needed to hide. She was drunk! Hi! She was fast! Andrew Garfield, tick tick boom. Dude, if Andrew or Ben, oh wait, wait, if Andrew wins, it's just, that, that would be shocking. Maybe that's why Will was so mad. <laughs> <laughs> what a dose of karma, right? Andrew literally carried that movie on his back. Yeah, now it's awkward. Now it's awkward, Will. He just killed it in this movie, man. Yeah, that one speech is better than all Will Smith. I, I will say was good. <laughs> I'm just saying. Just everyone else is another level. Oh, I'm just not looking forward to this. I'm just not looking forward to this. Okay, so this may be one of the most awkward acceptance speeches ever. Now, yeah. let's see what happens. No, oh, Denzel stood oh. up. He was like, "How dare you!" I'm just getting down there. Uh. Oh, I hear some booze. Did I hear some booze? Or no? Or maybe it's just me. Uh, Richard Williams um, was a fierce defender of his family. Okay. In what the heck? Time in my That's life, awkward. In this moment I am overwhelmed by what God is calling on me to do and be in this world nah. I'm repulsed inside making this film oh, no. I got to protect Anjanu Ellis who was one of the most the strongest most delicate people I've ever met. I got to protect Sanaya and Demi, the two actresses that played Venus and Serena. (laughs) 
I'm being called on in my life to love people. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and to be a river to my people. And I know to do what we do, you got to be able to take abuse. You got to be able to have people talk crazy about you. In this business, you got to be able to have people disrespecting you. And you got to smile and you got to pretend like that's okay. But Richard Williams... And what I loved, thank you, B. Denzel said to me a few minutes ago, he said, at your highest moment, be careful. That's when the devil comes for you. Ooh. It's like, I want to be a vessel for love, I want to say thank you to Venus and Serena. I just spit. I hope they didn't see that on TV. Um, I want to say thank you to Venus and Serena and the entire Williams family for entrusting me with your story. What is happening right now? <laughs> That's what I want His to tears see. are affecting the I stream. Want to be an <laughs> of that kind of love and care and concern. Um, I want to apologize to the Academy. I want to apologize to my, all my fellow nominees. Um, uh. This is a beautiful moment, and I'm not, I'm not, I'm not crying for winning a, an award. It's not, it's not about winning an award for me. It's about being able to shine light on all of the people, Tim and, and Trevor and Zach and Sanaya and Demi and Anjanu and the entire cast and crew of King Richard and Venus and Serena, the, the entire Williams family. Um, Art imitates life. I look like the crazy father, just like they said. <laughs> I look like crazy father, just like they said about Richard Williams. Um, but love will make you do crazy things. Um, to my mother, um, a lot of this moment is really complicated for me, but uh, to, to my mother, um, she didn't want to come out. She's had her knitting friends. She has a knitting crew that she's in Philly watching. <laughs> Watch her with. Um, um, being able to love and care for my mother, my family, my wife. Um, I'm taking up too much time. Um, yeah. Thank yeah. you <laughs> for this honor. Thank you for this moment, I thank you on behalf of Richard and, and Orsi and the entire Williams family. Um, thank you, uh, uh, Hope Inc. Academy invites me back. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, what are you kidding? They're gonna want him back every year now. Yeah, <laughs> like, they do, it's something weird and crazy. I, uh, gosh, you know what? I have some thoughts, but I feel like I will get canceled. So I'm going to remain silent. <laughs> I will remain silent. Some. Hmm. My gosh. So this is the uh, best costume make. I mean, no, best makeup and hairstyling, which you already found out because they already announced the winner, which was. Yeah. Doom. There's eyes of Tammy Faye. Oh wait, no, not Doom. It's eyes of Tammy Faye. Yeah. House of Gucci, Yoren Lundstrom, Anna Karen Locke, and Frederick S. Pires. 
Can you believe it? They made Adam Driver not handsome for. Oh, by the way, for <laughs> audio listeners of the podcast, I will occasionally refer to um, Ron's mom, who's. Uh, 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 yeah. But she's, the, she's standing by. She's also watching. <laughs> See, they, they pre-recorded and they cut their speech short. It's, just, it's, it's so disrespectful. She's got to be Puerto Rican. Yo, Bernardo, I love her. You don't understand. Side story. Did you see it? It's so good. Oh, I've been getting out of that Spider-Man costume. Did I miss anything? <laughs> <laughs> or one funny. But yeah, I'll say by far the funniest thing she said. There's like tonight. a different vibe in here. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know. Seven hundred people to put on the Oscars, and every job is equally important. Okay, the gaffers, the camera people, the seat fillers, everybody. All right, and okay, so the seat fillers do. I hear you, seat fillers. Um, I'll just explain what you do. Uh, so when you get up to go to the bathroom, or if you're going to cry, if you didn't win. Um, so, oh my God. Uh, actually, you know what? Let me just show you what the seat fillers do. Okay, here's a seat filler. Can we get you up, honey? You want to go to the bathroom? Okay. Let's just get you. Thank you, seat fillers. Love them. Jesse, I love you and power of the dog. Uh, you know that, that was my wife, Amy? You're married to that seat filler? <laughs> oh, that's weird. Anyway, we want to take a moment to congratulate our governor's <laughs> awards honorees. Danny Glover received the Herschel Award. In addition, Elaine May, Liv Ullman, and Samuel L. Jackson received Oscars. Liv Ullman and Samuel L. Jackson are here tonight, and we celebrate all of you, and we thank you for your contributions to cinema. Yes. They gave more time to that than I best film editing. Oh my God. God. <laughs> Anthony Hopkins. Oh, for for this, the joke is he didn't come last year. Anyone? <laughs> yeah. Smith said it all. <laughs> what more can be said? Let's have peace and love and quiet and. Oh my Thank gosh. You. Thank you. Thank you, girl. Thank you. Oh, Francis for Coppola does not look amused. Tonight and uh, great honor to um, present the five actresses in this next category who built their careers around the most. Um, memorable and most unexpected performances in movie after movie after movie. And um, those actresses tonight we recognize tonight are the, just the latest example of why they are considered some of the most formidable to ever grace the screen. And here are the nominees for performance an actress in the leading role. Best actor. I think you said Kirsten Stewart and I say Jessica Chastain, right? Yeah. Yeah. And how sad is that? Is it Kirsten Stewart? Kirsten Stewart, right? Yeah, Kristen Stewart. That's what I said. Yeah. Everyone are afraid so badly of an AIDS patient that we will not go up to them and put our arm around them and tell them that we care. 
That guy looks like BTK. That's <laughs> <laughs> chat. Also great. Oh, she was fantastic. Yes. Really, everyone in this category just crushed it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yes, I was going to say that. And then I came back home. What did it She was fantastic. I recommend Parallel Mothers to anybody. So much more diverging of the nomination than her husband. <laughs> yes. I get paid a fortune to do exactly what I love doing. I work side by side with my husband, who is genuinely impressed by me. And all I have to do to keep it is kill every week for 36 weeks in a row. And then do it again the next year. Kill. So let's do it again. She was good. She was solid. Yeah. But I think she just is completely outclassed by everyone else in this category. Yeah. Seems to suck with just me. Not you. Just me. That's because I always take care of clues my curtains. I was also in Lost Daughter. He was in Lost Daughter? Yeah, yeah. He was uh, Jesse Buckley's uh, husband. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I forgot. Uh, yeah, very predictable Oscars. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's very yeah. predictable Oscars. Yeah. Well, most of it so far. Yeah. <laughs> it's the in betweens that have been uh, uh, spicy. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad she won. Finally. Yeah, good, good for her. Yeah. No, honestly, yeah, I love Jessica Chastain and everything. Uh, well deserved, fantastic performance. Wait, that was Andrew Garfield? Oh. So oh. <laughs> He's got a pinky ring. He was rocking the pinky ring. <laughs> Stay classy, bro. Nice. Right now, we are coming out of some difficult times that have been filled with a lot of trauma and isolation. And so many people out there feel hopelessness and they feel alone. And suicide is a leading cause of death in the United States. It's touched many families. It's touched mine. And especially members of the LGBTQ community who oftentimes feel out of place with their peers. There is, we're faced with um, discriminatory and bigoted legislation that is sweeping our country um, with the only goal of further dividing us. There's violence and hate crimes being perpetuated on innocent civilians all over the world. And in times like this, I think of Tammy and I'm inspired by her radical acts of love. We've talked about love a lot tonight. And I'm inspired by her compassion. I see it as a guiding principle that leads us forward. And it 
connects us all and the desire that we want to be accepted for who we are, accepted for who we love, and to live a life without the fear of violence or terror. And for any of you out there who do in fact feel hopeless or alone, I just want you to know that you are unconditionally loved for the uniqueness that is you. And mute. <laughs> Mio tesoro, Julieta, Augustus, you are my heart, and I thank you all very, very much. Thank you. Lovely speech. That was nice. It was good. Um, I'm not sure I'm a fan of the dress, to be honest. It's kind of weird looking. Like, I mean, it, honestly, it has a t- Tammy Faye vibes. It does. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it does. It does. Honestly. I think maybe. Well, didn't that was the intent? I don't it, know. It could have been. It could have been. Yeah. I just I, I imagine she like, starts saying, I, I, I was protecting Andrew. I but, was protecting. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Who's that? I can't see. What? Cut, cut, cut back to stage. Yeah, they have not cut to a close up to see who's on the stage. Oh, it's Lucio, too. Oh. <laughs> Thank God. Do they know each other? Of the evening with a true show business legend. I mean, I'm sure that Lady Gaga, she seems like the kind of person who would reach out to someone like Liza Minnelli, you know? Yeah. The 50th anniversary of Cabaret. Oh, yeah. That's... Liza <laughs> Stuff like this I love, like celebrating film and film history. <laughs> We've seen highlights of the 10 best nom- nom- you know, nominated for Best Picture <laughs> Awards. Now we're going to show you something else, and then we're going to tell you who it is. Oh, good. <laughs> I got you. Right now. That was sweet. Yeah. Okay. All right, the big Ooh. one. It was just Coda. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, what do you mean, dude? It's gonna be driving my car. Or I, I, I really hope power the or just anything about Coda, please. Just I, I just yeah. don't want. Okay. I don't okay. want Coda's reputation to be hammered by this. You know it will. It it like will for be. a couple of years down the line. Power of the Doge. Snoop Dogg's favorite film. Oh my gosh. Okay, That's here we go. All right, Liza. Yes. Welcome to the new world. Hi, everybody. I'm so happy to be here, and especially with you. I'm your biggest fan. Are you excited to announce Best Picture? Oh, yeah. And oh, yeah. the Oscar goes to. Okay, Coda. Oh! Hey! Hey! hey. hey. <laughs> no hesitation. She's like, Coda! Yeah. Dang. Okay, well, I saw it coming. I'm a genius, I guess. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Dang! Dang! I, was, I mean, you guys heard my thoughts about this, so. <laughs> I think Coda is a fantastic film. I, we've, we've talked about it. We've talked about it like numerous times. It's at a really this point. good film, yeah. It's a good film. Is it the best picture? No. I, I don't Heck think no. so, but it's a very good film and it deserves a lot of praise. Uh, I'm glad to see you get a spotlight, but ultimately this may this may not reflect so great uh, in the future. No, we'll see. No, we'll see. it's definitely at the moment when. Yeah, it's a good film. It's a good film. It does a lot for a deaf community and stuff like that. Yeah, As a film like you know pushing boundaries. You know, <laughs> not not really. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow. It's a it's. Definitely like all three of his nominations. It's my favorite feel good film of like you know, recent memory, honestly. Yeah. 
like yeah congratulations to all of our fellow nominees your movies were all so poor incredible. netflix we're so honored to be here sean it hasn't been an easy ride from the first day of shooting when our cast and crew was were supposed to be at 4 a.m at sea fishing when we were told a giant storm was about to hit us it was only the beginning of our problems but you've been you've kept the boat afloat and you've best you've been the best captain a producer can ever dream of really <laughs> to our incredible cast so i work with you guys have made an such a wonderful and loving family on screen but also off screen and everybody want to be a part of it mm-hmm. and contrary to you ruby no one wants to sing no one seems to want to live it so you guys <laughs> and i want to thank eric our partner in paris and our team at vendome i want to thank my better half Leah and my kids who are all here I love you I want to thank Terry Semmel for mentoring me at my early days and lastly I want to thank my dad Oh that's cool I they have an interpreter for them from a bear. Yeah I love you very much and this one's for you too But I think Marley Madeline could read lips right I, I think really, I really want to thank the academy for recognizing <laughs> a movie of love and family on this difficult time that we need today and this is Coda uh Sean you've been absolutely where are you you've been absolutely amazing from the first day I'm so blessed that I've met you and uh to our cast uh Academy Award winner Molly Matlin new Academy Award winner Troy Kutzer Daniel Duran, Emilia, your voice charmed us, and you, Eugenio Derbez, you made us laugh so much, and uh, you really took really great care of the Ruby family. I want to thank also the incredible crew that we had, uh, in, including the fishermen community in Gloucester, uh, the the incredible uh, team at Apple. TV they've been absolutely amazing from from day one and and really were able to basically put this movie everywhere in the world really thank you all of you all of you at the most amazing team um and to my father who is not there and my mother who is not there but my beautiful daughter Olivia she's here the other one Justine is not here and my wonderful wife who have been supporting me i don't know how they made it for so long thank you thank you thank you oh come on let him speak <laughs> let let him speak da, 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 a bunch of oh guys my. and gals a bunch of guys and gals that's uh yeah didn't they when did they record this at like 3 p.m Wait, they didn't even let the third guy speak. Wow. I feel bad. Imagine the two guys hogging all the airtime and <laughs> you're weird. Ah, oh, whatever. Uh, okay, well, you know what? guys, that was our reaction. This was our first time reacting live to anything, really. Uh, yeah, well, actually, that's not entirely true. We did the Golden Globe nominations. I wasn't there for no, that. No, that, that wasn't live, but yeah, oh, but was, yeah. yeah. Okay, but still, this is our first time trying to react, you know, quote unquote, live <laughs> to these uh reactions uh, to the Oscar wins and everything. If this is something you guys are interested in, if you like this, please let us know, comment, like, you know, whatever. So we can maybe do this in the future, probably much more organized in the yeah. future. <laughs> and yeah, we'll try to maybe do a live stream. We'll see if, if the capability. We have that capability by then, but we'll see. Thank you guys so much. Honestly, yeah. this has been a long Oscar journey. We covered almost all the categories. That see, was really fun. Yeah, we saw pretty much almost everything, and I am so done with the Oscars for a year, I can say. <laughs> Until next year. <laughs> oh, honestly, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what a wild one. Who knows we'll get punched next time. Someone yeah. got Chris rocked. The actual ceremony, it was cringy but entertaining. Yeah. Yeah. It, um, it's been worse. Like, it, it's... Uh, yeah, it, it was a the, mixed bag. Yeah. Also, for winners, um, 
probably one of the most predictable winner list. Yeah. 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 Like and the, and the surprises were like in the shorts. Yeah. Yeah. Um yeah. Okay, guys. Yeah, thanks for thanks for listening. If you stuck around us stuck around with us for the entire time, I am really impressed. Or Great if job. you guys just been watching Will Smith slap Chris Rock 50 times, <laughs> I also understand. Thank you guys. <laughs> okay. Good night. Bye. Bye. Bye.